And we are live. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Let's get War Hospital loaded up. How are you guys doing today? It's been um, it's been a great weekend. I'm, I've been itching to get back at this game. I just want to say you folks have been absolutely awesome at leaving comments and uh, suggestions and stuff on the videos on YouTube. And there's, um, it's, it's been quite good having a little bit of brainstorming. Although it's mostly your brains that have been storming and <laughs> minds have been clouding over. Uh, we've got some great new suggestions and some ideas on how stuff works, which I'm sure we will mention as we come across the situations in-game. Uh, but as the game doesn't tell you an awful lot about its own mechanics and how it works, trying to figure things out as we're playing live from new release um, is tricky, and I do appreciate all the suggestions and, and comments. So even if things don't turn out the way uh, you guys expect when you, 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 you're giving tips and advice, um, it, it's just more ideas into the mix, because certainly a lot of the things don't work the way I thought they worked, for sure. So, uh, yeah, keep them coming. Sir, keep them coming. Patient is cured. Well, hey, we cured someone. Right, let's have a look in the rehab centre. Let's go and take a look at this as I just ease myself back into today's session. Uh, let's have a look. So, so what have we been discussing? Right, okay, so we've come to the conclusion that... Um, <laughs> that doesn't add up quite. <laughs> so... If someone has plus three drafts and plus three morale, they'll also have a value of three combat experience. They don't show like the fully experienced here. It matches up. We, they, this is still, I wouldn't say 100% certain, but 99% certain that that's how this works. So this one, and it makes sense as well. So the more valuable someone is as a soldier, the more drafts you would receive for sending them to HQ to assign somewhere else. And perhaps the bigger morale boost, as they maybe are a celebrated war hero or veteran. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But anyway, also the ones that are not worth so much, we can train them up a little bit and they'll gain more. Although we, if we have a look at this one, you'll see the black bars over there means these can never be filled up. At least that's how we understand them. I haven't seen anything that states this for definite. I did ask the developers... Uh, or at least the, their Twitter handle. I, I tried to I tag, tag them with a question, but haven't had a response since before the weekend. So maybe they don't know either. <laughs> Who knows? But the black bars means that um, the maximum they can ever get at combat value would be one. So I could put him in... It would be interesting to challenge that, but I, I think that's how that works. It, it does make sense. Um, this guy could get some more experience, maybe, but he's worth three to give away. Before I decide on those... And we don't have to decide right away. We can hold on to them and decide later. We have not many orders. We've put some stuff on engineering, haven't we, for upgrades. We are going to be short of these quite soon. Let me just refresh my mind and have a look at the assignments. So at the moment, the medic teams are doing absolutely fine. They're on 12-hour shifts, but they're both resting because they're on the same shift. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Let's switch one of them over to the other one. <laughs> That's... How did that happen? I'm sure I didn't leave it like that. The nurses... We've got two lots of 12-hour shifts and one more. We could do with an extra nurse. Oh, something else. We'll have a look at hiring staff in a minute. The engineer assignments. Oh, they're digging the tunnel. Right, they are going to be out for another six hours. That's okay. The engineers we've got are just about barely holding on as we're trying to produce the alcohol for the trauma and these victims. And someone is upgrading me one of the... Actually, I think it affects several wards, this one, so for some bonuses. That's okay. And the scouts are off doing scouty things, and we can't, we can't improve that at the moment. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the hiring personnel, because I was watching Quill18 stream this after I finished on Friday. He streamed this for a little while, and we were just checking this out. And was it him? I mean, it must have been him I was watching. I haven't watched anyone else. And he hired... Yeah, all right, this this is how it works. Because I remember hiring a surgeon, and it costing five. And I remember watching him. He, he hired something, and the price went up by one. As it has done for the trauma specialist, that was four originally. The last surgeon I hired was five. So that's a cool little thing, that the cost goes up by one. Was the engineer only one? I think the engineer... Mm, I might be wrong about that. Not 100% sure on the engineer. 
can't afford to hire a nurse, which is the one that we want at the moment. And I wouldn't mind a scout. But anyway, that's that's uh, for later, so that's fine. Okay, so that's okay. Let's see who we've got in the clearing state. Actually, before we go in there, we just had a battle, hadn't we? And there's a big battle coming. All right, so we're going to expect to see a load of wounded in the trenches. And I am hoping... I wouldn't mind getting the upgrade that gives us a truck. And if we can use it as ambulances, it will get them down here faster. So this is a slow down because we, did, we had both guys on the night shift uh, resting. <laughs> which wasn't supposed to happen. Let's take a little look at where we are. Oh, and something somebody else pointed out, and I may have missed this, so I need to apologise to any soldiers that we denied treatment to, because we got to a point, I think, when we didn't have too much in the queue, and there might have been someone I'd put in here, still alive, that we could have pulled out and maybe, uh, maybe saved. And I just either didn't notice or didn't think to look back in there. But you guys are a bit more eagle-eyed than I am, obviously. Hey, Rob, welcome back. How's it going over on Twitch today? So we've got a bit of a list going on here. We have enough to treat this, but there's a load of new patients coming in. Uh, this looks fine. Okay, these are long operations. That's fine. And on this one, we've got two serious... He's going to die. What if I switch them around? It's a three-hour treatment, and then he's going to die. Okay. This is a real shame, and there's nothing we can do about this. Uh, this is the more complex and tiring one. I'm going to have to put him in denied. Unless we get some good news, or something changes. Hey, Catherine, welcome back. Uh, we'll have to, we'll, we'll get him out if it looks like we can. All right, so we're expecting a huge influx of casualties. At the moment, it's okay. Food is holding steady. Resources are fine. Coffee is cooling. No, that's too hot, which means we're going to have panic stations. And the next time I check that, it'll be too cold. All right, let's kick it off. Let's speed things up. There's going to be casualties coming in, right? We've got a stack of wounded soldiers out in the trenches. And we do have medic teams working. And do you know what? Patients waiting for decision in the rehab. Yes, I bet they're bloody... Uh, we're going to have to order some bits, I think. So let's slow this down again. I'm going to go to the medic station. Oh, we've got some good news. We're going to get more of these because of the upgrades I've built. So, so this, is, this is good. Seems the infection is not serious. We have high hopes for the patient's recovery. Uh, it looks like this could be better. But longer rehab? Rehab's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. Let me... No. I want to check on the medics first. Because... If I go on the medic teams... Yeah, these guys... Oh, no, they're on 24 hours. Okay. So their job is just to go hell for leather and get those guys off the um, battlefield. Also, look at the morale here. Now, I have never seen this stated anywhere in the game. So let's check it out. Healing, resources, structures, units, trenches, scouting, other mechanics. Is there morale? Morale. Right. Current morale, hospital staff. Uh, morale, impact, staff, efficiency. Okay. Hadn't appreciated that. Makes sense. But the thing I'm looking for, low morale will cause them to tire faster and work slower. Will cause staff to tire slower and work faster. Good. So we need to keep morale high. So definitely over 50%. I think I'd let it drop a bit low during the other things and not realizing it might be having that impact. It'd be good to see in a numbers terms what impact that is having. But someone said with higher morale, oh, nice, that's been finished. Uh, you've got more chance of getting VIP requests and other events ticking off. I don't know if that's the case because I've not seen that anywhere stated. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'd, I'd like to see the evidence for that. But we'll work on keeping high morale because it's beneficial. I think you're thinking if you get vehicles for the scouts, their work will get done quicker. What do you, uh, I don't know if you're going to assign vehicles to the scouts. You can send vehicles in the scouting map to depots to pick up stuff. But I can assign more dog teams to the scouts. But I need to upgrade the dogs and the scouts to do that. This is good news. Good news. The bullet flew right through. We will take that and we will appreciate it. Also, we got an engineer freed up. And that guy is currently resting, and I could put him 
I could put him into this. We have a stock of alcohol. He doesn't want to work. As long as it doesn't work in there, he's fine. Um, yeah, we might just need to balance these just to... Those guys are out in a couple of hours. I better get some in. I'll wait till he's exhausted. And then we'll sw switch him out. But we'll try and stock this up a little bit. Okay, so we might need some... Some of these ordering. We might need some upgrades doing as well before the next train comes in. Uh, let's have a look. So the schedule is... Yeah, I... Food is coming in. That, that's fantastic. It's the amount of freight that's coming in that we can't store. So I either... I either spend it in upgrades. I think that's the wise thing to do, actually. Because we're not going to craft our way through all that. Oh, we have to follow normal procedures on this. The toxin did not have time to spread throughout the body, and yet the poisoning was only mild. Shame we can't do this. We need sodium hypochlorite for that. Can't do it. Sir, new patient arrived. Who would think that getting shot is a good thing? I guess if it's in your Sir, job description. The <laughs> uh, let's have a look. New patient has arrived. Let's go and see. So they're operating on him. The one who's denied, I think just we just have to accept that. And the one who's good goes straight in. So we can get people churned out and we should be okay for these for this coming fight. So off to rehab we go. Now I need to stack up a lot of experience. So, hmm. The combat power thing is not, it's just not matching my expectations right these guys are never going to get enough experience to be valuable in here so i say we eject them because they're look they've got black bars if we're reading this correct and i think we are now that means they can't ever get above this i think i might be tempted to put one in to see but anyway uh this guy well actually no this answers the question we think this red means it's filled and he can never get any higher. Whereas the threes, they can. So let's let's work on this assumption. And let's put two of those threes, because they're high combat power, and see if we can get that done. Having said so, that, it's not gonna make a it's not gonna make a difference yet, because this is gonna be a big number. But maybe we should um, plow more into that. So we think we have engineers free. Let's start looking at our next upgrade so this was a this was a sweet one the hydrotherapy it's just good news all across the board over in the trauma ward enhancement i need one more order so i can't actually do this yet an orthopedic lifts oh that would be that would be useful we get more slots for medics in those i've never done the amputations it would be cheap. I need to use these up, so more so than the orders. Hmm. I am tempted to do that. It gives us options, but then we have to. We have no option but to release the patient after that. These are getting expensive. All right, this is good. Look at this. Surgery ward decreases the time of operations by 25%. That would be so good. And what's this one? That's on the chemical ward. That increases the chances of success. There isn't one for the trauma ward that does that, I've noticed. However, the trauma ward has this own little thing here that's just unique to itself. Increases chance of simplications by a lot. I think I'm going to go for this one. And we can really churn people through there. I need three more orders, which I am going to get. Okay, we're going to do that. That's where we're going to spend our next batch of resources. So let's hurry things along here. Sir, new patient arrived. Hey, Wealth of 74. Red is combat power, black is a red Sir, bar blacked out. Was successful. Yeah. So it's I mean they still get a little bit of combat experience. They're maxed out at a bit, but they'll never progress beyond that. So I think uh, I think we're understanding that now. We have someone stable who's just come in. Um okay, if I put him on the list. Oh, I was looking at that thinking, no, it's fine. It looks, the big skull stands out a lot more in the green than it does in, well, there isn't, a, there isn't one on there. That'd be why it stands out then. 
Okay, so we're okay for that one. We're okay for that one. And we're okay for that one. We are on top of things here, which is so rare for us. We've got two wounded there. I'm not quite yeah. sure Operation that this successful. is working as it should be. I don't think they're getting... The medics aren't getting people from here to the casualty clearing station fast enough. Damage to the patient's body is extensive but superficial. It seems the first aid given to him is enough to prevent further damage. Excellent. Just a better treatment. Yeah, these things absolutely do need to be in the compendium. So does much more in the game. And the com Operation was successful. Compendium's pretty good. Let's let's be fair. It is still pretty good, but it does need a lot more stuff putting in. Okay. Sir, operation was successful. So far, so good. People think the major is doing quite well. That's all going to go to shit before long, isn't it? Oh, our scouts are out there. The scout team finds the muggers deep in the forest in a clearing with a little brook cutting through it. The muggers' camp looks like a battle had just gone through it. There are many wounded or dying men laying in the grass. Many tents are broken or destroyed and supplies and valuables are scattered throughout the camp. A group of muggers seems to be finishing off the wounded and gathering all the corpses into one big pile ready to burn. It seems there must have been some split between the muggers and a fight broke out. The remaining muggers still outnumber the scouts, but they seem to not have any rifles with them. The commander thinks that they should have no trouble subduing and arresting them. Ambush and kill them. The monks won't be happy at that. Arrest the muggers and bring them to the local headquarters. As Friar Tuck asked, Aha, I remembered. The scouts gave the muggers one chance to surrender. They reveal themselves and shout to the muggers. They seem surprised. At first, they take their weapons, mostly knives and makeshift melee weapons, and try to attack the scouts, but a warning shot quickly discourages them. Knowing that one doesn't bring a knife to a gunfight, most of them surrender, but some try to flee. This is quickly quelled when one of the fleeing men is shot in the knee. The muggers are quickly arrested. The supplies and valuables from the monastery are gathered. The scouts leave the clearing with no casualties, leading more than 10 bound men to headquarters, along with many carts of goods stolen from the monastery. So... The scout team will escort the muggers to the local headquarters and then return the goods to the monastery. Scout team acquired five alcohol per... Scout, I'm guessing, there's only one. HQ will provide four orders and one staff for draft. I, I can't keep calling them orders. Not after five days of playing this. They're finishing the mission. Uh, morale improves and there's a new depot unlocked, the monastery. Sir, now... Scout unit has started a new mission. Now we need the, uh, the trucks, don't we? So let's have a look at that. How much does it cost to instantly get ourselves a truck? Provides a truck. It's three orders. Um, let's do it. Let's do it now. And these guys who finished digging the tunnel now can come straight out of there and go and get that assigned. Yay, we're going to get a truck and we can send that straight to the depot. So Catherine, you were asking how this was going to work. Um, we're about to find out. So we'll see what the monastery can do for us. Yeah, he died and we expected him to die. Oh, wow, this has dropped a lot. I had, I thought this was at 91. Why has it suddenly gone plummeting down? There's no one else waiting in there. They're resting. No one is about to die there, which is good news. And he's not going to survive, so. They will if I do it that way. Uh, so let's see if we can get that going. Um, it looks like he will. I want to see these trucks and how these trucks work. Right, so on top of this, we are a little bit short of orders. We've got some, we've got plus five coming, so that's enough for the upgrades that we wanted. Uh, we're going to need some combat power. Now these are worth three. Do you know what? We've, we've got to stack that up. We can get the orders afterwards. And I'm going to put one more in there. Oh, wait, it's gone green. Excellent. So that's gone green really quick. That's, that's cool. I want that to be blue. And then Sir, everyone after that, we can, um, we can manage things. People are staying in here a long time, look. 
Unless it's, it's not counting these, I'm assuming. Are the scouts resting? Hang on, not the scouts, sorry, the engineers. No. Why are they not working on it, though? And maybe they haven't got there. Maybe they haven't got there. Don't know. It should. I don't know. I need a medic at the cemetery. Ah, okay, the engineers have got there now. That's that's fine. So now it's now it's on. I need a medic at the cemetery. Uh, I have one, and they're working a 24-hour shift. So it's probably telling me I need more than that. Let's put these guys on a 12-hour shift, right? As long as no one says they would do not want to work there, that's fine. They're happy there. When they do get tired, we'll have to switch them out, but I need to get them... I, I need both teams working at the moment. And I think we can get away with just one team working on here. I feel like I could do with more medics. Sir, medics are on the way. I do feel like I could do with more medics. So maybe that's what we'll recruit. I don't know. Oh, right. Save. In case we get the old upgrade bug coming back. Hey Callum, the advanced medic thing seems to be the bottleneck at the moment. Could upgrading that be the next move? Could be. There's there's a few bottlenecks in places. It's getting enough orders. Oh, wow, that's just gone down. So this is Eva Deeks, or Ava Deeks. She speeds up operations at operating wards. She's working in there. She's doing really well. Works much better at rehab. Works better when working with others. Others working with them tire less. Tires significant less at CCS. Well, she's going to be working in there for speeding up operations. Huh. These would be two nice things to get, wouldn't they? So we'd, we will... Works better when working with others. She's working on the shift. I don't know if that counts as working with others. I guess... She's working with Doc. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know about that one. Patient is covered in a suffocating chemical that's threatening our staff. Contamination should be remedied to allow the doctors to operate safely. I need... I need the sodium hypochlorite thing. Okay, we're going to have to see what that needs. This is going to be... Order for the area of the body adjacent to the wound to be cleaned by hand. An extra two hours... We're going to have to do that, Sir, new patient which might have a knock-on effect. No, it's it's okay. This guy's critical. Well, that's we can't go any faster than that. So, sorry, my old chap. It's uh, it's nothing we can do. This is looking great at the moment. We're well ahead on on this type of thing. So we need to upgrade. We probably need. The green chemical specialist, I think. Don't we? Uh, high spirit, shorter rehab and morale rises. That's what I like to see. I love those blue events. Right, so this is going to be going soon. And then I'm going to send that truck straight out to the monastery. It might be something that we can continually... Continually get um, advantage for. Someone on trauma ward, that's okay. You're good. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have people resting, so it's okay. I think we can manage it like that. Casualty clearing, that's not good. I'm gonna guess that's medics, is it? It's two oh eight. I thought this would be a problem. Right, I'm going to put that back to 24 hours. Uh, you have a rest. And you go in there. Um, we'll put them on 12-hour shifts, though. Put you on shift. Uh, you on that one, because you look more tired. And you get straight to work. Waiting for medic team 5 in trenches 5. 
Waiting for Operation 7. Wounded outside. 17. Hmm. Excellent. The truck garage is finished. Is that access through the scout Sir, tent? Medics are on the way. So, we can... If we preview teams, is one a truck? No. So if I click on... The depot income, it's alcohol. I, I called this, didn't I? Available trucks, send the truck. So that's just going to give us 10 alcohol. The truck's going to take 27 hours to drive to the monastery and come back. I mean, these are World War I trucks, I guess, and loading time. But even so, that seems a little bit of a long time to me. Bullet passed through. Good news. Okay, so our engineers. We're short on the chemical stuff here. So they're resting. Um, ah, these are on shift, so he's not actually making anything. So put these other two in. So we need to get some numbers up there. Otherwise, the engineers are kind of coping all right. That's fine. Uh, let's go to... The improvements. So the truck thing was nice. Casualty clearing. Which one was holding stuff up? The advanced dressing station. Takes a lot of orders. But there is some nice stuff there to get afterwards as well. This is on the trauma stuff. And if I go for that. It increases operation success by 10%, but increases the supplies used by 50, but decreases the rehab. The rehab is not the problem at the moment. Whereas this side increases the chance of simplication. So it doubles the chance of simplications, increases the amount of supplies by 25%, and decreases the time of patient's rehab. I might do that one because 50% increase in supplies is, is quite a lot. Um, was it this one? Decreases the time of operations. That's hellish expensive. Uh, production at some point. I wish this just wasn't all a sea of yellow with the same bloody tent so that we can easily see which line we're trying to work down. This is warehouse stuff, right? That would increase the available trucks by one. I don't see that that's a big deal at the moment. Unless that monastery respawns with stuff and then then it might be. Production stations. More food. Stew brewing pots. And a boiled sweets folding machine. I'm sure there wouldn't be many of those made at field hospitals behind the front lines. Uh, enhanced engineering. Decreases construction time. Increases production speed by 25%. See, that, that's good. Do we got this one? So what are our options for this? It's just production stations? That's not nearly as exciting, is it? And over here... The scout team's fun, but I, I don't think it's critical to our success. That's an expensive one. Where was the warehouse? Was this the warehouse? That's a very expensive upgrade for 60 hours. Alright, I think it's the healing stuff that we want. I'm tempted to pick up both of these to give us more options. Which one is the hydrochlorate one? It's none of those. Oh, I don't know in this case then. You know it flashed up saying we need the sodium hypochlorate upgrade but we didn't have it. Tuberculosis vaccination. Compression bandages. We probably do need to upgrade the casualty clearing station. And the advanced dressing station. Just because of the upgrades it leads to more than... The fact that we need more medics there, I think. Oh, this is a good one, look. 
Uh, decreases speed of patient condition deterioration by 10%. We should have that. I think that's going to be my next upgrade. We'll save up the three orders. And we'll get that kicked in. Although that one does sound good. But at the same time, I, I feel like we're almost managing things. Yeah, I can't see the sodium hypochlorite one. I don't know if you guys can. Not sure. That does sound good. I'm sure we're going to get a load of orders soon. Let's let's roll the time on and just see what uh, what pops up. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Yeah, what? Sir, new patient arrived. These are just coming in one at a time. Extremely exhausted. Well, you better have a rest after that then, hadn't you? He's good though, so that's okay. We'll put him in there. Um, I think we can save up and get yeah, one of those. Patient is cured. We've got three. Is that enough for the um, the casualty clearing? Yeah, let's let's do this. Staff lodging. We can just have one guy working on it because it's not overly urgent to do this. Sir? Is cured. Hey, Christy Marie, how's it going? Nice to see you today. Someone's tired. This is um, this is where it, the, the game sort of catches me out, where we start to get people exhausted. I could do with another nurse, and possibly another medic. I've been asking for another nurse for a long time though. In the moment, we can't. But Sir, are on the way. all that happens is that nobody gets rehabbed, which is a problem if it goes on for too long. Right, let's let's do that. Let's get that blue Sir, and then we can medics are on the way. worry about uh, releasing people. Joe Morale just Sir, dropped from 90%. It did. It's dropping really fast and I have no idea why. Maybe it's... I don't know why actually. No. It is dropping. Oh, hang on. We've got some. We've got some patients in. Okay, they suddenly got dropped off. Right. Let's start throwing them in. Um, I will put the serious ones in. There we go. Set to its surgeons. That surgery upgrade is going to be good. We will have to get it at some point. Hey, Dimmy. Is this the Frostpunk guys? Uh, it. It kind of. I don't know if it's the same guys. It feels like a Frostpunk game. Uh, it looks bad because the game's just put a layer of fog between me and the city. But it definitely feels like Frostpunk to me. But it's nice that they've done this, this theme like this. Let's just save the game. If anyone plays this, by the way, if you get a story mission like this that's popped up or a, the, oper the, the chance to upgrade one of your staff, always save the game beforehand because there's a bit of a bug at the moment. A group of refugees came to the hospital, asked for permission to take refuge here. They have women and children with them. Taking them in may strain our resources, but many of them will not survive the further journey. This boosts morale. That lowers morale. We need morale high. I don't think it boosted as much as I thought it was going to. The patient suffers from a severe case of trench foot. If not treated, the patient's feet may sustain permanent nerve damage. Uh, we could have amputated, but we're going to save him. We're going to save him. Longer operation. Don't worry about the rehab centre. It's fine. We're just waiting for a nurse to have a rest. And then she can get back to it. Yeah, there's lots of um, mysterious mechanics in the game that the game doesn't tell you about. The morale drop was one because things were working quite well. Not quite sure what's happened. This is nearly maxed out, so we need to either upgrade or um, spend it Sir, somehow. Operation was successful. Operation was easy and allowed the operating team to gain more faith. Morale rises. And as morale rises, work improves and it's like quite the knock-on effect. Okay, let's put... Oh, I should have gone to assignments, actually. Let's put the nurse back in. She's rested long enough, I think. We'd prefer to work in the operating ward. Most do. 
Oh, hang on. Right, she's she can go into there. She has no preference. And she can go in here. And she looks tired, so let's switch the shifts over like that. 6.51 a.m. Actually, this one... She is resting. No, keep her, keep her working. She will... She's about to come on shift. No, so keep her working now. And she is going to... She's about to come on shift and she's currently better rested. Okay, I've got that. I think. I need a magnifying glass. I don't know if it's my old eyes, which don't have a problem with anything else, or whether that is, is kind of kind of hard to read. Sir, Maybe way. it's time for a bigger monitor. Like, full wall monitor. Seems the patient's body is able to fight off the infection on its own. Closing the wound should be enough to help him recover. Decreased cost or shorter rehab? Uh, we'll go with... Shorter rehab for that one. Only because I'm feeling rich on in these at the, at the moment. So let's have a look at the clearing station. Someone's died in the trenches. There's one wounded left yeah, in the trenches. The Actually, that's good news. If there's only one left in the trenches, that is good news. That says there's nine, so that, that can't be right. That can't be right. Hang Sir, on. New patient arrived. There's, all right, this, the, these numbers don't make any sense to me. Sir. Are on the way. That that doesn't. There's none in the trenches. Apparently, but if you Sir, go up there, it says a different story. Successful. So I don't know what that means. Let's take a look in here. All right, we've got serious people coming right in. Let's. Wow. Okay, these are getting expensive to treat. Serious. What if I put two seriouses together? Just because these are. These are now getting exhausted quickly. So that's that's okay. Yeah, that upgrade to make surgery times less, I think that's going to be a good one. Hey, Tom. Welcome back. Nice to see you streaming Baldur's Gate 3 again, by the way. I've been enjoying the few streams I've been Sir, able to catch. The hospital. Oh, we've got something. Right. Save the game. And a, an autosave would be greatly appreciated in this as well. So let's go to the front lines. Seems part of the tunnels has collapsed. Luckily, none of the working soldiers have been buried during the collapse. Angus has requested help in clearing up the collapsed parts and strengthening the rest of the tunnels to prevent another collapse. Send engineers to help for 24 hours. Promise to send more soldiers to help in rebuilding the tunnels. I have to send 10, no, sod that. Let Angus clean up his own mess. I'm tempted to say that, but I'm going to send engineers. And these are the ones. Oh, God. We've got someone in staff lodging. He's actually a good one for building, and we are about to go build something new. Hmm. As we're okay for this, I'm going to take one of the guys off there. The one who's currently working. And we are... We're managing trauma, so we've only got one guy in trauma. That's fine. I will assign those. Sir, operation was successful. Hmm, expensive. You even doing a stream on the other channel this week too? Cool, is that like some game awards or, or not awards, not this time of year, but game announcement or something that's coming out? Let's have a look. Operation was successful. Good, I like Operation Successfuls. They're good. These guys are exhausted, so let's switch them out. He'd prefer to work in a uh, clearing station. Right, so I'll put those over like that. I'll let them figure out which way around they want to do it. These are just doing 24 hours. Casualty clearing, casualty clearing doesn't have preferences. Seven awaiting burial. They're just going to have to work around the clock to get that done. We do have a morgue, so that helps. The nurses are okay. The engineers... Um, we've still got one person doing trauma work. Now, on the 12-hour shift, it just means that they stop for, for 12 hours, so that's okay. We're getting the chemical ones caught up. 
The guy making alcohol is just going for it. We need to upgrade that, I think. Food is currently okay. Let's see if we can go upgrade something. We, we have yeah, the resources to, to do away. this. Xbox Direct with Avowed and Indiana Jones being shown off. There's an Indiana Jones game. I haven't seen an Indiana Jones game for like 30 years. It was something like Fate of Atlantis or something like that a long, long time ago. You think the game needs more mechanics for replay value? Ethics, hero personalities, custom building? That's a good question, uh, Welther. I don't know for replay value. It would need to have different scenarios, I think. Or it would need to have a random mode where instead of, you know, you've got... Um, we know that the first one plays till the 21st of June and we know the events that are coming. I imagine those events are the same. It needs to have a random one where it would throw random events in. Or maybe it would, wouldn't be like the full three chapter. It would be like... Uh, What's the word? A procedurally generated single chapter adventure where it just ramps up difficulty towards the end but throws different things at you. I think that's, for replay value, that's what it would need. So every game would feel a bit different, but it would only last maybe six to eight hours over the course of the thing. At a guess, you know, just a rough estimation, but um, that would give it replay value, I think. Maybe a bit longer than that. So, let me find something we can do. This one costs 100. Absolutely decreases speed of patient condition deterioration. Absolutely get that in there. That is a that is a brilliant one to have. Let's go and have a look at rehab. Sir, medics are on the way. We need more combat power. So those two are going in there. He will never get any better. And neither will he, so they're going to be released. Dr. John Curry awaits new assignments. There are one patient waiting. Serious and good. Dr. John Curry? That must be... It's him. Well, he's not waiting new assignments. He's got people to see. Bizarre. Okay, so the serious guy's going in here. And the good one. Actually, you can probably go in there. And that that looks a whole lot better, doesn't it? We can put people in like that. That that works fine. I think. I mean there's some good three star soldiers here, so we absolutely want to make sure these guys get through it. Working at roughly two to one on here. Sir, engineers reach the construction site. Don't know if that's good or not. Yeah, ethics, hero personalities. Uh, the game, Sir, I don't know. I'm not sure what else you could add to this game. But other than that sort of randomly generated single scenario, shorter version of the game, which I'd really like to see. Um, I'm not sure what else. Good question though. I know Frostpunk came out with this expansion, Sir, is which added a few new mechanics. I thought I saw someone come in. Oh, he's critical. It's only two hours. I think we can fit him in there. No, we can't. So he's going in there. This is now taking some juggling to get right. But we can do it. They're not resting. So that's fine. Get to work. We don't want any more critical people coming in. Uh, yeah, Frostpunk brought out this expansion, which added a few new mechanics. And I think there was like workers' unions and stuff in it. I can't, can't quite remember. But I didn't enjoy it. it was last autumn, it was called. And it was kind of a prequel, I think. And it just felt like you were constantly working against yourself and every decision screwed you over. And it was, it was too much like that, where the decisions were just too tough with all unpleasant consequences for you, with no relief. And I, I, found, I just felt like I was punishing myself from playing that. I did stream it. I did put the Let's Play up of it. Um, I didn't like it nearly as much as the original Frostpunk. But I don't know, other people might have enjoyed it. 
Custom maps with generated content. Oh yeah, custom maps as well. That would be good. And also not with just a, the, gen, uh, the random generated events, but a randomly generated scouting encounter map as well. That would be, to, to go alongside it, that would be good. Right, let's see. Maisie Blatchley, she is dominating. Morale increases when they work, which is good. So, helpful, speeds up operations at operating wards. Others working with them tire less. She works slightly worse at the rehab centre. It's only slightly, though. Tires significantly less at CCS. Eats once every two days. Morale increases when food rations are set to half. Um, I can't go into the other menus from this now, can I? No, I can't. I wanted to see if she had a preference for where she works because it doesn't show the preferences on here, which is a shame. If she had a preference for the operating ward, I would pick that. If she had a preference at CCS, I would pick that. I can't remember. She's not one of the two I have in the operating ward. I'm fairly assert. She's assigned to this, which is... What's that one? That must be the CCS, right? Right, resilient. Tires less at CCS. I'm going to go on that one. But that's her three... No, I should have picked that. It's the operating Ten. ward. Patient is cured. Do you know what we can do? Do you know what we can do to that? We can we can load that in again. I just didn't recognize the symbol. You completed Frostpunk, but not the expansion, Dimmy. Good game, wasn't it? I found it quite tough. But I liked I liked that bit of element of pressure. Right. Actually, this is this is cool, because when you if you get offered a load of traits you don't like, but if you save it just before picking them, which you should, because this can crash this screen. Uh, if you load it back in, you'll get offered some different ones. Others performing with them work uh, perform better. Others working with them perform better. Ambitious works significantly better. I'm going to pick ambitious, then I, it doesn't matter where she works. That's that's cool. I like that. I think I, I think did I try to complete the DLC for Frostpunk and failed, or got to the end and just didn't enjoy it. I definitely didn't enjoy it so much, though. Shorter rehab, because he's got high spirit. Excellent. Let's do that, then. Um, oh, we have spent some resources here, which must be in this, I'm guessing. I didn't think we'd produce that much, but it's gone down by a thousand. We we can't have spent all that. We we just can't have spent all that. That was at 1,900. I don't believe that we've produced our way on 12-hour shifts through a 1,000 freight. Unless sending them guys took some. I didn't see it on the tooltip. It might have done. I might just not have read it. Hmm... I'm sure what we set the engineer to go and do didn't cost that much. Uh, right, anyway, the medic teams. It's okay, we have people... We have people working everything. It's it's fine. It's okay. Uh, the nurses are fine. The engineers are okay. And the scouts are still out, right? All right, what's this? Depot income. We've got two good... Uh, results here. Seems the patient's body is able to fight off the infection. Let's go for decreased cost because now we do have some issues with um, supplies, I think. For a thorough examination, I believe the patient's symptoms to be fake and he is simply trying to avoid deployment and combat. I'd like to recommend removing recovery from his schedule and assigning him to service immediately. Shorter rehab or morale rises? I'm going to take the morale rises thing. I want to keep this as high as possible. I also think he probably wasn't faking the shell shock and everything else as much as the doctor thinks. Right, we've got one guy in critical condition. Luckily, there's a spot right there. And it's in time. And one guy who's in stable condition. Who we can put in up here. So I know what I need to do. 
The engineers have nearly got this done. This is great. I took in people. That was going to cost me. I took in some refugees for morale. It shouldn't have cost me resources, though. There's probably just more mouths to feed. Which the, the food is actually holding steady on this one at the moment, which is good. <gasps> Terminal. I can't see them going in anywhere. And surviving. Okay. It's a complicated, it's a tiring operation. It's not amazing chance of success. Uh, we just have to do that, unfortunately. The stable guy should be good, though. Haven't messed anything up there. We are good, aren't we? So set the rest for there. And I'll put you in for there. <laughs> We'll try and get those going. He's going to be exhausted after that. He's going to be exhausted after that. He's currently exhausted but needs a rest. Uh, that's four hours. That's five hours. So we'll get started on him sooner. Put him there. Depending along on how much is left on this one, of course. Hi, Commander Grados. Nice to see you back. You just joined in. Is this Chapter 2? It is. Yes, we are in Chapter 2 now. I haven't got the amputation upgrades done. We've never amputated anything. I think I would like to have the option, but I try to avoid using it because usually the other outcomes, if the other outcomes are better, are better to go with. It halves the surgery duration. We, we might have to do that. We haven't had to so far, but it might mean we keep some more people alive. So yeah, it's a good point. It's one of those upgrades that we could probably do with getting so, camp improvements. We have no orders at the moment. So, that should help. I would like the advanced dressing station. So, I need five drafts for that. And it's going to eat up a ton of freight. Everything now is getting expensive to, to upgrade. Apart from these. Which give us some nice new options. Possibly for saving people's lives. Uh, we got this. So, if I can save up enough... We can get a new chemical uh, chemical doctor. I don't know what the term is for those. We've got surgeons. We've got trauma specialists. Physicians. We can have a new physician, which might be good. Housing, we're okay. Production, we definitely need to improve the alcohol. But, I mean, these are expensive upgrades now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Before we got interrupted by by whatever it was... See, that's not an expensive one at all. An extra scout tent would be would be great. We go to the scout tent. Sir, new patient arrived. You had to amputate 50 Sir, plus people in your playthrough because your save was totally bugged. <laughs> that's quite savage. No, well, I mean, I agree well through. It's pretty amazing I've never been forced to amputate. But at the same time... Maybe I would have saved more people if I'd amputated some and got the next one into the operating theatre sooner. I hadn't really thought about it like that before, but it's, it's going to be a thing, isn't it? Send truck. Send truck. Is this guy... No, he's still busy. Okay, let's, let's come out of there. The depot income. I can't send the truck again. Sir, new patient arrived. Strange. Sir. Strange. Oh. We have a VIP. I left a personal recommendation, so it's this guy. This is Steve Rogers. Really? Where's he from? Oh, he's from the United Kingdom. So he's not that Steve Rogers. I'm waiting, uh, I'm, I am to inform you that Private Steve Rogers showed an attitude worthy of a soldier and threw himself on a grenade to protect his companions in arms. It sounds like it is that Steve Rogers. Thanks to a steel plate he was wearing, he survived. As such display of bravery is a rare thing, rescuing his life could inspire and boost the morale of all the soldiers in the trenches. I implore you to consider taking steps that will ensure his return to the front lines in the future. Angus 
Mc... Is that supposed to say McFinnigan? Because that's a really odd spelling. Okay, so... Steve Rogers. He doesn't look like the Steve Rogers I'm thinking of. Uh, let's have a look. Ever since a little boy, he had been fascinated with the military. When he was old enough, he tried to enlist to West Point. What, from the United Kingdom? But was unsuccessful. From that point on, he trained himself in paramilitary organisations. When the war came, he enlisted in the military. Well, we've got to save Captain America, haven't we? We've got to save him. That's going to bugger up the rest of my things, though. But he is currently stable. Hey, Leonidas. Oh, what, 52 months? That is awesome. Thank you very much. That is greatly appreciated. Um, how's it going with you, anyway? Are you chilling out now after the Christmas rush in the bike business? I think we can fit him in after this critical guy Thank here. Thank you for agreeing to my request, sir. I am sure that Private Roger's return will inspire my men. We shall try. We need to return him to the front lines, I think it said. So I think we can get him in there. If anything else changes, we'll try and get him in sooner. We've got someone who's good. Wow, okay. You're going to have to rest. And uh, now we might need that um, amputation thing. And I guess I'm just going to put you on the list at the back there. Yeah, John, you've got quite the list going on there. Wow, it's min minus 19 outside with you now. You're in Kansas, right? I did hear about snowstorms hitting that part of the US. So back to your previous topic, the bugged out save. Imagine you've achieved world peace because the Germans stopped attacking and no more patients came, although you couldn't go to chapter two. It's the first person I've heard of that had uh, um, a bugged save like that. I've had bugs, but not in the entire save. <laughs> okay, that is a big list of people to operate on. successful good get the next one turned in it seems we have something bad over there so did i get i didn't get this did i this is the thing we need so i need to save up seven drafts and i think we absolutely have to get that because clearly these attacks are starting to put big demands on uh, on that so we've got plus three coming from there i need a plus four he's awesome uh, they don't have a lot. I think I'm going to do this. And we're going to get that upgrade done. So that's going to be enough for that upgrade. That's what we're doing. And we have to hope we get some more people that we can put in Sir, before that is arrives. Or some rewards. We might get rewards actually when the scout comes back in nine hours time. So this depot Sir, income. Was Hang on, let's just put them. The, is it the medic team who's exhausted? I've got, oh, I've got loads who are exhausted. Okay, so the, we're going to need, we prefer to work in the advanced dressing station. Will you come out and you go in there? Because they'll be, they'll provide morale bonuses. These are currently providing morale bonuses. Is he about to go on? He's working eight in the morning to late at night. If he can do another four hours, he'll get rested up. Now nah, let's let's turn him turn him out. That's the that's the way to do that, I think. And we'll switch those around, and we'll see if we can do it like that. In the cemetery, people can. There's ten awaiting burial. We'll we we'll, could do it with another medic team, yeah. <laughs> desperately. I do need more medics. I'm tempted to order that, by the way. Although yeah, sometimes you get the you get free ones. So I'm going to try and hold out. I'm going to wait and see what happens when the scout team gets back, because they're they're coming back with goods for me. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Pause, pause, pause. Save. We have. Is An upgrade for Logan Mills. He's a medic team. Yeah, right. So he tires slower. This is brilliant. They perform better at ADS, work better with others, work more efficiently, is not negative, not affected by negative traits. Others working with them perform better. Hmm.
Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, composed? Works more efficiently? I'll go for that one. I've, I've kind of Medics reach the advanced dressing got the position where they work, so. Oh, one died during operations. That's a shame. But probably can't be helped. So we've still got... There's no wounded there and none in the trenches, it says. That tells me a different story. So I don't know what to believe. Maybe that's a deceased person. No one in the cemetery. That's okay. We can manage that. Seems our diagnosis of this case was very accurate. We could perform a more adjusted procedure instead of a normal one to ensure the operation would run smoother or save some supplies. Uh, just the operation to ease the doctor. Because the doctors have a stack of shit going on at the moment. Hey, Akron. Just joining in. What did you miss? Nothing too much so far. We've We've been holding strong today. Uh, we need some more medic supplies. That's a point. My engineers were asleep, weren't they? Let's go and fix them up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to put someone into this. We don't have anything else for him to do anyway at the moment, so that's absolutely fine. So let's get them working on that one. 1.3 per hour. Even though we have a lot, we need more. So what's this one? Oh, this is good. Seems the gas agent was diluted and is not as strong. Uh, we believe we can use smaller amounts of supplies to treat the patients. So. Hmm. Let's go for this one. Decrease cost. It's for a different category, but. Ah, we've got a nurse down here. Ready for upgrades as well. Amputation halves the med supply cost as well. Yeah, we haven't got that. Um, we haven't got that opted in yet. So, Arabella Head. She thinks that the volunteer girls only get in the way and get underfoot. She's obviously a professional nurse then. So, we've got speeds up operations at operating ward. So, I could do with her going back in there. She works better at the rehab center. Eats once every two days. There's no harm in putting working better at the rehab center, is there? I know I try to want to specialize them, but. If I put everyone on this, I'm going to go everyone on this. Let's get everyone eating half rations all the time and being happy about it, being grateful for it. That's what I like. Seems the bullet flew through. Excellent. Let me just reassess the patients. So at this point, uh, the serious one is going through. He's getting that cleared off. This needs a switch around here. Okay. Okay, that's looking like we can manage that. Um, he is resting. That needs to be switched. Let's let's get that out there. Can we go too? No, we don't want to be fully exhausted. But we'll get the serious guy out. I think we can actually make him work, and I think it's going to be fine. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Good. Wake him up. I do roll the medics around and the nurses around, it's true. Uh, speaking of which, it's usually just to cover places like this when people get exhausted. I would prefer not to work in the operating ward. That is easily done. You can have a rest for a bit. And you do prefer to work in the operating ward. Oh. Oh, no, she doesn't. But she has a thing that she works better in the operating ward. So she is nearly about to go off shift. So I'll leave her there and she won't get tired. Sir, nurses are on the way. I need a nurse and a medic, I think, to, to round all this out. New patient arrived. Two patients. What have we got? Ooh, we've got a trauma one. We haven't had a trauma one for a while. It's okay. They can go in there. We've got the materials to do this. And stable. Uh, I hate to do it, but you can go in there. And he can actually work on, on three. I think that's okay. 
we need this guy in. He is serious. He's he's gonna he's gonna drop, but we should get him in in time. Especially if this is a good one. Patient has severe burns, but it seems his body has already started to heal its own. So signs of visible living tissue. Nice. Just a good news one. We like the good news ones. What's this? Oh no. I thought there was something to click on the map over there. Sir, I do need the rehab successful. fixing. So Sir, let's take a look. She's she's going back out. Okay. She'll have high morale from that. Sir, nurses are on the way. New patients. Terminal. I don't think we can fit him in. Sadly. Um. Whatever I do is going to cause somebody else to die, and it's a hard job. So, let's let's go with the original plan. Serious. He's he's degraded in health. Uh, this guy is resting. You can rest. You can rest after the VIP, my man. We can definitely do that. Yeah, we need to try and get people in. These serious ones Sir, are looking bad. Save up for a trauma, man. Ah, we do need to save up for the... Is it a trauma or the chemical man? We've got two trauma people, haven't we? I need a cup of coffee before work. I know the feeling. Sir, operation was successful. <laughs> YouTube's just Sir, jumped up saying now would be a good time to insert ads. I don't like ads in the Sir, middle of a live stream. Not the intrusive type. Although YouTube, if I could choose five second ads and no more than that, you know those five second ones that come up and it just plays five seconds, you can't skip them. That would be fine. It's uh, the, the chances of it in sticking in like a, a two minute ad or something, that's ridiculous. And I don't like anything that interrupts live play. Although on YouTube, at least, you can rewind the stream a bit. But still, that's not ideal, is it? So I'm going to try and... If YouTube give me the option not to put ads in the middle of the live streams, then I'm going to go with that. Forever. As long as, I can, as, long as they will let me do it. Sir, operation was successful. Uh, I can see the day when they, they stop you being able to choose but uh, for now we've got the options so little banner ads down the side or something that oh the bottom that's that's fine but um big intrusive things that interrupt the action is is definitely not no preference right no preference you are in the graveyard i don't think we need anyone in casualty clearing now so that's good so maybe sorry in advanced dressing so you would prefer to work in here anyway Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna get the stuff buried really quick because there's there's eleven bodies. Um, there's still some wounded outside waiting to go in, so let's let's ramp this up and see if this goes through a little bit faster. Although we've got two people there, it's fine. Sir, we'll do it that way. Twitch is worse, Sir, like one minute on skippable ads. Yeah. Skippable ads in the middle of a live stream are just, just not great. Unless it's a sort of stream where you know the ads are coming and you can stop and you can stop the action. Say if it was like a sporting event and there's a natural break in the action, there's a, I don't know, injury, a timeout, something like that. That's great. But um, for this sort of stuff, it's, it's just not a good experience. So I'll do my best to always um, keep ads out of the middle of live streams you guys I have to live in a ragged tent in the cold with no heating on because I can't afford it playing the world's smallest violin then I will definitely do it <laughs> okay I'm gonna need some more of these because we've got people going in that is not good and I can't afford to order them so go to the engineers You guys are now working 24 hours until further notice. Let me go to the scout tent as well, because it's got this, right? It says depot unused, available trucks, but I can't send it. Uh, can I preview the teams? 
He's got 15 alcohol on him. He's coming back in 26 minutes. Well, that's going to help. Do the do the trucks? Okay. Do the trucks bring the supplies to the scouts, and the scouts have to bring it back to the hospital? Is that how that works? Patient is cured. Oh, look at this! Now I can afford. Friend in the hood helping Fry Tuck. Pause. <laughs> Let me just catch up a minute here. Right, we've got some good news here. Patients show signs of high spirit. Brilliant. That that's the good news. That is. Um, the scouts haven't brought the alcohol in, so go inside the tent. Now the scouts are back. What if I can't do that now? So let's preview the teams. So this guy's got 15. So bring him to the hospital because I need the alcohol. And a sign. So still taking him 10 hours to get back. I don't know what's going on with that truck. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Right, we have a few people pending here. Let's see what we can deal with. We're sending some to the trenches, which we do need to do. There's a plus three. It's gone blue. Excellent. That's just what... Oh, this guy's got stacks of experience, though. Um, I'm going to need some orders, though, aren't I? For upgrades. And, and just getting... I'm going to release him. I don't care. It's gone blue. Everyone else is, is is going. Everyone else is going out. We need we need some upgrades. I can order a nurse. Do we get the nurse? Let's have a look in here because I was thinking. Let's go inside and, and take a look at this. I was thinking of getting this guy. He's rested. You should be working on him then. Um, the trauma is... Oh, no, we don't need any more of these. So that's fine. They're currently working on them. And we've got caught up. All right, we're going to take the rest out and put it there. Because this, this is now getting serious. So we need at least one person in. What if I do it this way round? He's, no, he's, he's, his condition is getting worse. Two chevrons faster than his. So let's pull them out and we'll keep an eye on this and see if we have to switch it around a bit. Bad news is I just need more of these. So we are working as fast as we can. He would prefer to work in the engineering depot. Whereas he does not have any preference. Uh, that doesn't require alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in there. You're supposed to leave. Put those two back. Um, it's 24 hour shift, so that's fine. Go to improvements. And we're going to get this one. This is a long one. But th this is absolutely required. That's going to be eight hours. As we can... Yeah, okay. We don't need that. So let's get this down. We can even do without the trauma things for a while, but I'd rather... No, screw it. Let's get this down. This is a huge improvement because it's, it's going to make a, a massive difference to the operation time. I do need to upgrade the pharmacy, absolutely. Get more slots in there and get more engineers, more housing. Uh, we have orders, so I'm going to order some resources. I'm going to spend four drafts. I've got more drafts. Keep calling them orders. We'll get those in, which should just keep us ticking over. But the operating world, right, they're going to go through faster, so we are going to end up spending the materials faster as well. So we need to upgrade the pharmacy to keep up the production rate. That's going to be worth bearing in mind. Right then, we have Nicholas Delmotte. Tires slightly slower, significantly lowest chances for complications. That's excellent. 
significantly raises chances for operation simplification, works more efficiently, morale slightly increases when they work, that's a nice one, or just works better. Um, I like the raises the chances for simplication. So we lost this patient. Damn, somebody died. That's a shame. There's always the chance that that's going to happen. Right, everyone is is on the list. It, it's working. It's going ahead. It's fine. That upgrade was crazy good. You go in chapter two, and you only had two docks, and it saved you. Oh, we've got another one. And what have we got here? This is Frank Carter, the engineer. Others working with them perform slightly worse. That's not good. Uh, uses up less resources to produce medicine supplies. Morale slightly increases when they work. Works more efficiently. Uses up less resources. Because, I mean, they're all going to be working in there at some point. So... New patient arrived. Uh, what have we got? So we can, uh, the gas agent was diluted, not strong. We believe we can use smaller amounts of supplies and a shorter operation time. I'll take that one. But then they're just a bit longer in rehab, that's all. Crap, we could have done without this. I guess we've got one going in here and one going in here. We can fix them. But there are people, people waiting who need some help. Okay. Oh, nice. The operation was surprisingly easy. We're getting a lot of those now. And those are really good. So what's going on with the medics? Close to collapsing. I'm going to put these back to 12 hour shift and on alternative shifts. So there's always someone there. So they, they should be able to get through it. I do need more medics. There's no one there. So what I can do actually is put this here. And we'll put you on the shift that's currently working. Cemeteries. We've got 15 awaiting burial. Sir, medics are on the way. I don't feel like we've got such a good ratio. We started off well in chapter two. It's just gone down. The ADS needs at long at least one medical team. It's there's no, well, there's nobody wounded in the yeah, trenches, so the we can kind of ignore that for the moment. So that's fine. Hey, Nicholas, could have gotten rid of his issues working with others. Could have done. Sir, patient is cured. There'll be a chance to do that again. We do need a mass grave, I think. So this is looking a bit better down here. I don't know who to order. This is my chance to get a nurse. Or we save up and we get the, um, the physician. Don't worry, the cemetery is catching up. It's, it's going to be fine. I have, I have no doubt it's going to be fine. I think we get the nurse because we're, we're struggling to keep this ticking over aren't we I'm going to do it right now I'm just going to make the decision if it dares come back to me and offers me a free nurse at some point which it will do I'm sure right order that nurse sir operation was successful did we have the VIP successful operation We do. Now, we wanted to send him back to the front lines because that was what it said on the thing. Uh, consider taking steps that the insurers return to the front lines. So he goes on that. Oh, there's nothing happening there at the moment, but we've, we've got the nurse coming to fix that eventually. Oh, let's see what terrible disaster this is that awaits us. It's refugees. If I take them in, we're going to run out of food. Send them away. 
85% down to 78. I think, yeah. Sir, we can't feed everyone here. Successful. And they contribute absolutely nothing to our situation here. Right, there's one in here. That's okay. This is this is the ward that we're managing quite well on. This is the one that we're really struggling with. And this guy is serious. This guy's just gone critical, but it's a quick operation. So we can go after the critical. We can go after the stable. Actually, we can go there. And we pull you down to there. <laughs> and we go good. We put you on the end of that one. Right, you go. Let's let's fix the critical one. You can go straight to there. Um, we'll probably have to pull him out. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. We got that upgrade done, didn't we? So let's have a look what other camp improvements we can do. We did get that done, so it decreases the time of operations by a lot. And that one, it's just for the chemical ward, increases the chances of success by a lot. The trauma stuff. That speeds up rehab. That speeds up rehab more, but we use more materials. Um, there's so many things I want. What about my pharmacy? So the next pharmacy upgrade. Ooh, we are, that's no, that's not the one I want. What's this one? That's more production stations for everything. Is it not something that allows me to produce more stuff? Increases the number of trucks by one, which would bring in more alcohol. Hmm. Lots of vacant engineers. Did the engineers finish their job? We'll go back and check those out. Don't really want the warehouse enhancement. Uh, what's that one up there? Decreases the amount of food used by all rations by 10%. That does sound quite useful. Decreases the impact of half rations on morale by 50%. Increases the impact of half rations on morale by 25%. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a bad one. We use even less food, but it's more of a morale hit. I don't think that's sustainable. Uh, I can't see what to get from here. I was thinking about doing scouting, wasn't I? Yeah, give me a scout team. I'll take a scout team. Uh, I don't feel like this is particularly urgent, so let's go back to uh, production. And we're going to need someone on alcohol. Actually, do these guys have preferences? So you go on there. And... What am I going to need more? I'm going to need more trauma stuff, aren't I? We're working 24-hour shifts at the moment, which... Oh, the order came in. I think we're going to go back to 12 hours so we don't exhaust anyone. And we've got just another two hours before they come out, so that's going to be okay. Sawdust recipe for the food. That was from Frostpunk, wasn't it? I remember that. Who's exhausted in here? It's got to be the nurse. Right, she's she's exhausted, so she would prefer not to work in the operating ward. She would prefer to work in the operating ward, so you can come out. 7 a.m. She finishes soon, so you can finish in the... Actually, you've got to go back to, to rehab. And then there should be a nurse appearing anytime soon. Yeah. 
and we get people there yeah. turfed out. Is this my nurse time. arriving? No. Sir, operation was successful. Seems the patient's body was able to fight the infection. Oh, decreased cost. We we need Sir, just to keep a check on that for the moment. Oh, yeah, the game is very vague about too many things. Sir, patient is cured. Uh, it seems that fort or fortunately the bullet stopped on the bone without doing much damage, so that's just a shorter operation. We're getting some good Sir, results there. The Got another one. More shorter rehab. Patient's will is strong. We've got no one waiting, right? Oh, we have? I didn't see a notification for these coming in. Uh, they're good and they're stable. Okay, as you were in kind of in, in there first. I'm going to do that. Should we, get the, should we get this guy fixed? Can we do two? Yeah, we can do two. If we're going to do two, we do it like that. Yeah. Get the serious guy done and through. Uh, we need some more, but we're producing yeah, a lot now, so we should be okay. I hope we're going to be okay. Sir, medics reach the casualty clearing station. So, if you guys, any of you guys playing this, what have you worked out to do with the trucks? Because I don't know, I don't know what this is. It says depot income, but I can't click on it. There's no timer with it. And I can't bring the truck back to camp, as far as I can tell. It just says depot income, 10, but it, it's not really boosting that. Right, we have a nurse. Let me know in the chats anyway. We'll go and have a look at that in a minute because the scout's going to get back soon. So, we're going to put... Um, this is... Oh, she wants to work... She would like to work on two shift in the 12-hour system. So, I'm going to put her in there. I'm pretty sure she doesn't really care where she works, right? She would prefer to work in the operating ward. She does not have any preferences. I'm going to put her on two. Then she's going to be happy. You can come out. And you can go in. So she's working till eight. She's going to be exhausted, so I can't do that. Or she'd like to work on the eight hour system. We don't have an eight hour system here. Anyway, she's she's going to be fine. Um, I'm going to put those on 12 hours at the moment. And I'm going to put her in there. But she's on the resting one. So she should be okay. So if I leave it like that, um, I'm hoping that everything's going to be fine and I never have to touch the nurses again. And that is very wishful thinking, Sir, I know. Nurses are on the way. But we'll see if it see if it plays out. So who's in the rehab centre? Because I haven't had a look at this for a little bit. Uh, we've got the VIP guy going out. I'm happy for all these to be released and just we just cash in those drafts. Because morale is is morale's good enough. I better have a look at the medics because they're probably going a bit mad, are they? 12 hour system. There's no one wounded outside. There's no one on that. He's exhausted. He doesn't have any preference. Right, you come off there. We can go 12 hour shifts there. But we'll put you on two and you on one. So they're going to rest up. And let's hope that works out. And then over here, this is looking okay. I'm just going to put one person on a 24-hour shift. He likes to work there anyway. That was lucky. I got the right ones in there. <laughs> right. So that's Sir, a nice way of, way of boosting morale. So if we get the teams in the right places and we don't have to shift them around, we can get some nice bonuses down here. You're thinking about the VIP welfare? Sir, nurses are on the way. Oh, about how he's, the, the instructions are quite vague in the game. Uh, yeah, it just says in the bottom of his notes that uh, we want to release him to the front lines. At least I think that's what it relates to. 
So we shall see. Right, the medics have... Sorry, the engineers have finished. Let's have a look at that. So we've got people doing nothing. Can we afford... Can I do them to... Let's see. So they're doing the scout team enhancement. Uh, I think I am going to put them all in there. And then when somebody comes off there, we will put two people in there. But let's get this done quickly, if we can. We get nothing by sending the VIP back to the trench. Maybe we reload the last save. We could. I'm not too worried about it. Sir, patient is cured. Good. Keep them coming. We're getting those orders. That's all fine. It looks like we are able to get these done. There's a serious guy there. We can bring him down, put him at the front of the list. We put him up there. I'm just going to pull him out there and get him straight into surgery. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Okay, we're doing... That's, we're over two to one. I think we dipped just under it or close to it at one point. I'll take that though. Whew. I need a rest already. Hey Wheezy, why are all of them halted? They were halted because they didn't have a nurse working in there to rehab. So they should be. Now the nurses should have arrived by now. Yeah. So we're back to having times um, to how long they're going to release. So that's why they were halted. Sir, I just um, moved the nurses uh, over somewhere. Yeah, the game should definitely be more clear about a lot of things, uh, Wealth. I totally agree. It's something they can improve, though, thankfully. That's something they can add into the compendium. And that would be great, uh, great for us. And basically, without changing any mechanics, all they have to do is update the compendium with a little bit of information. And I think that should be something they can patch in. So, um, I'm not in contact with them. Uh, but if ever I am, I'll, I'll pass any information and concerns you guys have. Actually, I could get in contact with these because I got sent a copy of this for free from a PR firm who works Sir, with them. And they often successful. ask for feedback. So I, I could send some feedback and that would probably find its way back somewhere. I missed what that message was. It wasn't, it Sir, wasn't. Patient is cured. Ooh. Ooh. Save. So this is the nurse. She is strict. Decreases morale over time when not working. But increases morale over time when working. Is there something that rules that out? Tires less at CCS. Eats once every two days. Others working with them perform better. Works much better at the rehab center. Much better at the rehab center. Okay, Claire Stevens. I'm going to put her in caring. Strict and caring. That does sound like a nurse. Let's have a look at the assignments. I'm looking for Claire Stevens. So she needs to switch with Arabella Head. I don't see any benefit there at the moment. I'm not really sure. The game's a bit vague on those mechanics as well. We can only put them where it says and, and hope that there's some calculation made for it. We've got enough rations for three days. That's more than enough, I'm sure. <laughs> How much are these? These are thankfully quite cheap, so I am going to order some more. That'll just keep us going. Meanwhile, we're going to try and work on producing more and getting the engineers up. So I can't order any engineers. Are the scouts back? Right, there's there's depot income which has now added something on. Maybe we did get that? Sir, nurses reached the rehab. Let's have a look, preview the teams. So they've delivered their stuff. If I send this. Ah, okay. Cancel truck or the depot output is 10. The next supply delivery is 3. So if I fetch it now... Does this mean we just let it run? 
Now this is vague. The next, I don't know what that means. Uh, what we'll do is we'll send the scouts out to something though. So we've done these, haven't we? What's that one? Love struck. A man from Levi Village came to the scouts to plead for help. It seems their daughter went missing. We've done that one. That's a long way away. What's this one? Escape from Paradise. A refugee group came to the... That is really annoying that I try to mouse over it, but the camera shifts and it takes the mouse with it. That's not me swaying around. Well, it's not the camera that shifts. It's the background that shifts and it moves off the mouse and suddenly you're not reading anymore. And you have to... You have to allow for that and move the mouse opposite to where the bloody background shifting that's frustrating anyway the refugee group came to the hospital and claimed they were chased out of their homes by german troops the scout team claims yeah let's do that because there's germans involved so that actually sounds yeah, like a job for scouts a new mission. yeah that nurse being strict um people don't like working with her <laughs> you can't get rid of your staff you can't fire them as far as I know. Maybe the system works like the bank interest. The longer you keep the truck there, the more resources you get when you fetch it. I think that's how it is. It's just not obvious that it's filling up or coming back, but I, I think you're right. I think that's how it works. Uh, we, we're still working on this one. That's a big upgrade. We do have some more drafts so we can spend some things. We're okay for alcohol. Let's have a look at my engineers. Until there's this big battle coming, and actually I could do with... Yeah, okay. They're going to have to work full time to get that going, because when the battle comes, that's going to be quite brutal. We need a bigger stock of these. I don't want to order them because they're too expensive. I think I need to upgrade the pharmacy, don't I? And that is something that I can do now. But we'll get the scout team one done first. The scouts can be fun. They had a little bit of extra interest. I need to start producing food. I'm thinking I need to really get myself a more, en more engineers. So we might upgrade engineer housing so we can recruit more when they're available. And there might be a chance of us getting some free ones. I, don't, I never want the houses to be full because if there's a free one turns up, then we might lose them. You'd recommend to upgrade the warehouse before the next chapter because they fill your warehouse to max. Do they? That is good to know. We can almost afford that as well. Uh, we've got a few more orders coming. It's an expensive one though, isn't it? Is this good? Well rested, well rested. Hang on, if they're rested. Terminal. Serious. Good, we can do all of that. Serious, serious, terminal. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's going to die waiting for treatment. As long as people do get on with this, we should be okay. Engineers leveled up. That could be something interesting. He's leveled up once before, I think. Oh no, it's one we got here with a with thing. So we've got slightly decreases construction time, decreases construction time, decreases construction time. Others working with them tire faster. I can't cancel that one out, but I can boost the construction time thing. I should have looked to see if it made a, a, a drastic difference to that. Okay, at the moment, it's ticking away. It's doing all right. So that depot income, that looks like the truck's just going back and forth, or at least bringing it to the scouts. I don't know if it's bringing it direct to me. There's no more space for freight in the warehouse. Yeah, we didn't. I should have, I should have seen that coming. That's, it doesn't matter because it's, it's, it's used it up. It's fine, but I should have seen that coming and got things improved. So, these are probably chapter three level things, I would guess. That one's doable. Operation success in there, the breathing machine would be good. Um, 
I think production. So is this the pharmacy? That's the warehouse. Provides even more place for storing all resources. It's a huge one. Huh. Do I want to go for that? And try and limp through this game with what we've got? Is this the pharmacy production? Reagents production. There is... Um, is there another one that produ reduces production costs anywhere? Increases production speed, which is good. Improves. Um, this decreases construction time of improvements. I'm going to get this, and then this increases production speed in the pharmacy and in the engineering depot. So let's let's go for that. And I'm going to assign uh, one guy to it, and we'll get it done. We'll do it like that. Production also uses freight. It does. I think we've got all the, the yeah, discounts. For um, resources. Basically, the discounts that make, that use up freight. So, pharmacy stuff and engineering stuff. I think we've got the combined 20% reduction there. I don't think there's any more. Unless there's something on the far end of the, the upgrades tree that I haven't seen. But yeah, we'll, we've got a few days before chapter three, so Patient is cured. there's a big battle coming in. We need the, we do need these stocking up. What's the status? Right, engineers, let's have a look. We need more in there. We should probably start trying to stock these back up a little bit as well. We'll do that and let's do this one. So it's, it's going to change, but it's, it's going to be a long upgrade. Uh, sorry, 12 hour shifts. That's fine. That's fine. Let's, let's work at that. Hey, Katie. Thanks for streaming this game. You're really enjoying it. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. It's a good game. It's, it's better than I expected. Actually, I, I wasn't sure what to expect because I hadn't looked into it before. But um, whatever I was expecting... I'm enjoying it a lot more than that, so it's uh, it's good. I like games that really get their hooks into Sir, me. The especially when it's a surprise. So, we should be in a situation now where the medics... This guy is close to collapsing. Okay. And I, I wouldn't have thought that should happen on the 12-hour shifts, but it does. So, luckily, we got him out before it did. They're not tiring at all because there's there's nothing to do. But I'm leaving the guys there. There will be something to do soon. So we'll have to reassign that. I could do with another medic. However, we have no um, staff. Sir, so. reached the casualty clearing station. Let's have a look at the... Now the nurses have moved around a little bit. No, I definitely put someone in there who now is slightly better at rehab, but we're not getting any benefit to it. So it was uh, Maisie somethingly, which is this one. And she, oh, no, she doesn't. So which one was it? Claire Stevens works much better at rehab. Okay, so it was Claire Stevens, although she's currently resting. What if I, ah, okay. That's cool. Right. No. Oh, it got more effective because there was two of them working. Not because I'd put her onto the current shift. Right, got it. So that that perk, I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it is working and it's just not showing in that number there. I have no idea. Softest 84k, you finished the game. It's really a nice one. Is the third chapter, like, longer and bigger, or just, like, harder and more intense? Although, I, I feel like the first chapter is maybe the most intense, because you're really panicking and struggling. You don't know what to do. You're really struggling to get the resources. You're getting overwhelmed by things. You have too few staff. You don't have the upgrades. 
This second chapter so far has felt easier. Uh, we don't need to put them back in the trenches, so we're sending everyone home. Get those drafts coming in. Maybe we need to hold out until November, the last month of the war. This is, there was June, August. Yeah, it could be. It could run up to the 11th, couldn't it? I was wondering how it's going to finish the game and if there's a nice sort of tribute and, and fitting end. We'll see. No spoilers, folks. If you've seen it, um, I'll look forward to finding out. That sounds like a truck coming in. Can you hear it? Okay, it's the, these things. I should probably zoom in more because the animations are nice, actually. They're quite fluid. These animations are nice. The ones over here were not quite so much. We can't do anything. We can't check on them. So, oh, we have a, a result. Seems our diagnosis was accurate. We could perform a more adjusted procedure instead of a normal one to ensure the operation runs smoother. We're going to save the supplies because five is a lot. And uh, we, have a, we have a fight coming. And I feel like I'm a little bit understocked for this. Uh, let's have a look. Our initial diagnosis was wrong. The wound was cleaned and the shards were removed. There is no severe internal damage or other complications. Understood. Good news. And let me just see what the situation is. So this guy is critical, but he's going under the knife next. And the Well, actually, we don't need to have a rest there. He's currently well rested. We can get the next guys out. And then we might have a few hours for the surgeons to get fully rested before this kicks off. Bullet flew right through, leaving a clean exit wound. Just a bonus. No choice, just a bonus. Sir, new patient arrived. Chapter 1 is really hard if you take the wrong updates. Chapter 2 is a tough one if you don't know what you need. Uh, two other kinds of docks. And the third chapter is really nice. Took you around Sir, 15 hours. What, for the, for the whole game or just the third chapter? You haven't played the DLC so far. Is there a DLC as well? I did not know that. Shorter rehab. Excellent. High spirit. We like those. Okay, things are looking good. Scouts aren't back yet. Are the Marie Curie DLC? I haven't heard anything yeah, about that. So what's what's that involved? What's what does it add in? Anything? Anything, anything new in the way of gameplay? Was that about engineers at the construction site? That guy's resting. It's going to be a long time finishing that, but I suppose they, they have been resting. It's on 30 hours at the moment. Oh, it's dropped down because the other guy's just come off his rest. High spirit again, shorter rehab, more morale. Something keeps dropping morale. Artillery bombardment to the dugouts. Oh, here we go. I thought we dealt with that. Hey, Bartos. I'll get that question in a second. Right, so this is the bit that I'm probably a bit underprepared for. And we might just have to order some materials because there's going to be a whole lot of casualties coming in real quickly. I like the guy stood on top of the trenches. Uh, may I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with one of the patients who was recently brought... That was quick. Claims. Let's go pause and take a look. So, uh, Bartos, have I encountered any games or uh, bugs or crashes? Yes. Not crashes. But there was a, in fact, that's a good point. I'm going to save the game now before I forget. I encountered a bug, I think, twice where it was Thursday, no, Friday last week, I think, where if you clicked on a character that was ready to level up, it wouldn't let me select a perk and neither would it let me come out of that screen. So I was stuck there and just had to Alt F4. So I hit that one twice. I think that's the only bug or crash I've come across that certainly 
a game smashing one anyway. Right, let's go to the trenches. I have no doubt that we are going to lose some people here. Uh, 24 hour shifts on there. There's no one waiting for burial. So I'm going to put everyone into here. And I dare say these are going to get exhausted pretty quickly. Do you know what? Let's put them all in there and we'll just take some out as they tire because they won't all tire at the same rate. And then that's going to be fine. So these are going to be working like mad to get those wounded out of the trenches, which I think is the right thing to do. Get them into the, the dressing station. Right, so we've got someone who's arrived in here. This guy. We've got a VIP. Edith Boulay. From Belgium. She was raised an orphan. Uh, let's have a look. Raised an orphan, don't know her own parents. She was raised in an orphanage to the southwest of the hospital from her young years. Helped the caretakers. When she grew up, she became one of the caretakers herself. Despite tough times in the war, she decided to stay in the orphanage and take in any stray or orphan children. Before I read the thing on the left, I wonder if this is going to be a free nurse. I request your careful consideration of the case of Edith Boulay. She was a caretaker at the nearby... No, probably not, actually. Nearby orphanage that was recently destroyed by a German gas bomb. I know that Edith ran inside, despite the gas, to rescue as many children as she could. From what I heard, most of the children survived and were evacuated to Paris. I feel that this brave woman deserves to be healed. I agree. She's a civilian then, so there'll only be one choice to do with this. Um, she goes on next, and then you go there. Oh, Bartos, uh, th that was a known bug. We still don't know how to trigger it. Happy that you still enjoy the game. Uh, are you involved with the game's production or development, then? You, you sound like um, when you say, we still didn't find how to trigger it. I just wondered if that's just a general, nobody knows what triggers it, or whether you are in involved in it in some way. Because if you are, that would be really cool. And um, yeah, it'd be great to have a chat sometime. Softis, 84k. It took you 15 hours to play the entire game. And the DLC is the fourth mission extra. All right, cool. I w this will be probably up to about... Um, at the end of the day, I think I'll be on 16 hours. Have I streamed this three times already? I've lost track already. stable uh we are going through people this is good so these are they're, they're, they're slightly rested they're gonna be um there's gonna be a lot more coming in here <laughs> real soon panic stations everybody again remember to set the rest for the chemical doctor oh let me have a look at that ah good point okay so he can have a rest there and then um, he should be fine. I want to get another one of these, but I need... I just need that to go up. But, oh, you are. Okay, cool. I didn't realize. Well, this is... Um, oh, you're involved as a tester. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it's a good game. If you want to give any feedback to, to the devs of the company, uh, I'm sure the people in chat will have a few things. Now collecting feedback and info about bugs. I don't think I found any more bugs. Um, there's lots of things in the game which I would really appreciate having a bit more information in the compendium about. But um, I think that's the main thing. And just, oh, there is one thing. You, you probably are aware of this already. If you're, let me go into assignments. So if we, let's look at something like nurses where it says would prefer to work here, there and everywhere. It would be awesome if we could mouse over or at least have some way of instantly clicking to bring up this so that we can see their perks that's that's one thing i would really love that kind of stood out to me we just like to see what perks they've got when we're deciding where to put them because i maybe other people don't have a problem with this but i can't remember the names of who likes to work in the ward and who who's better at um, healing patients and all that but yeah it's a it's a good game it's good fun i come across any more bugs i haven't had that um that bug with the character perk selection since Friday of last week. That was the stream that it got hit twice in quick succession, so we saved the game before every every um, perk selection. 
And then come Saturday when I streamed it, I noticed a few things look different. Like what I noticed most was looking on these before we were getting black bars on this bit here. And Saturday we weren't and we were seeing black bars here instead, like the one we can see on screen now. So I wondered if there'd been a patch Friday night into Saturday um, because since that's when these black bars appeared and disappeared from here, and that's also the last time before that, if there was a hotfix, that I had any sort of um, issues with the perk selection. But uh, I don't know, maybe maybe that's just uh, coincidence. Having said that, watch the next time I select a perk, it crashes. <laughs> right, okay, let's, uh, let's roll time yeah. on Medics and see on where we're going. I'll just go a little bit faster because we're going to have a lot of people coming in. Only canned fish and army biscuits left. Yeah, it's not looking great, is it? I need the engineers to finish that quickly because there's a nice bonus from that. Anyway, seems fortunately the bullet stopped on the bone without doing much damage to the body. Great work. Oh, let me see if I can find one of these comical, one of these things here. I don't suppose we're going to see it. There's one of these. In fact, there's a there's a bit of information comes up. We're not going to see it, but it's quite comical because it said um, says in here promised his mummy'd be back by Christmas December Christmas 1914, and then up here it says joined April 1915, and it's <laughs> it's quite the promise. But stuff like that doesn't matter. It makes me smile. I, I don't. I. I I'm one of these people that it, there's some bugs in games that I look forward to encountering because they're fun things. Things that you'll have seen like in Sir, operation was successful. in the Grand Theft Auto games when cars, I don't know, disappear into the sky or um, the physics in games is absolutely messed up and it's, it's hilarious. I love stuff like that. There's been loads in like uh, the Elder Scrolls games and uh, Cyberpunk had some funny ones. It's, it's the Sir, game stopping ones, those successful. game breaking ones that are a bit of an issue. But I appreciate hilarious Sir, ones. Doctor is going to rest. Okay, doctor's having a rest. Uh, this bullet passed through the patient's body and that's fine. So, let me have a look. We haven't got anyone in there yet. He's resting. Uh, can we push him out to there? I'd like to get this VIP going through quickly and then we can rest afterwards. Because that might be some nice bonus for me. Right, if we look up here, 27 wounded in the trenches. And I'm, I'm guessing the medics are out working. They do appear to be, yes. Okay, that's good. We don't have any new battles coming on the horizon. Well, I guess we do? We don't. I don't know. I have an interesting idea, you run the game as an admin, maybe it'll fix your pop-up issues. I never thought about that. I've just, I'm playing the Steam version, if that makes any difference uh, to anyone else out there. Uh, researching the refugees' village, the scout team finds only rubble and ash, all the houses were burned to the ground. At the request of the refugees, the scouts located packages they had hidden near the village. They contain mostly personal items or family mementos. Returning them to villagers should give the civilians some hope. Uh, there were tracks of marching soldiers and multiple trucks on the road. The tyre marks were deep and clearly visible. The trucks must have transported something heavy. Tracking them should not be hard. Follow the tracks. Follow the money. Right, it won't be long before we have to start putting someone in the cemetery. And not just the, uh, <laughs> the medics, unfortunately. Ooh, what's that mean? Oh, that she's on the, on the ward, isn't she? I thought it was a picture of one of our nurses. It's our... Oh, God. Sir. Well, that didn't take long, did it? My 12-hour shift system is not working. She goes off, though, at 8 in the morning, as does she. Okay, so they're going to have 12 hours to rest, so let's see if that's enough. Oh, something is at the casualty clearing station as well, the, the medics. They're exhausted. Um... Right now, I think we want 24-hour shifts. 
I'm going to take you out to rest and I'm going to switch you over. Switching around is not a great thing to do because it kind of messes up jobs and assignments. But um, yeah, this is there's, there's, there's no shifts now. This is just panic stations. We've got to do it. A lot of injured soldiers waiting to come in. And we have plenty of resources. I'm not going to get those crafted, am I? I'm going to have to deal with some orders here. So let's order resources. I'm going to need... Uh, it's so expensive to do it like this, but I, I feel like I'm going to have to. That is eight orders. Once those guys start filing in. Go on then, and some food. <laughs> That's a big order. It's coming in soon. We have the freight. I just I just need to upgrade the flipping center. What are the engineers doing? Um, are these on a 12-hour shift? Right, 24-hour shifts. Just work and work and work. The, I don't feel like... Oh, the alcohol's going to go down faster now, though, isn't it? Okay. It most certainly is. Yeah, I need to... I definitely need to upgrade the pharmacy. That's the thing, to get the medical supplies produced. Right, let's speed this Sir, up a little bit. New patient arrived. Sir, a Whoop. From HQ. That didn't take long. They're going to ask for something I can't afford to give. I absolutely know it. Uh, we've got one in trauma... Oh, I've clicked on this one. So this guy is critical, but you can come straight out of retirement and do, do that. You're resting. Well, if they're resting, I'll put him on the well-rested one, and uh, this guy can become well-rested. So it's okay. We'll flick things around. You are critical. This is looking good. Uh, you're going straight in. Right, I'm going to save this. Let's see what we've got. Group of refugees come to the hospital. They ask for permission to take refuge here. If I take them in, 10 civilians, nope, send them away. The food situation is far too dire. And until I get more staff requisition orders, uh, we are not going to get... Um... Oh, what's this? Major Wells, I'm disappointed with the way you handled Christopher About's case. Who was Christopher About? By depriving us of one of our agents, you interfered with the work of the Bureau. I requested an appropriate punishment to be delivered to your hospital. Ooh, you nasty pasty. Okay, so I would lose one staff order. I didn't have any anyway. And I would lose one or five orders. That's fine. That's fine. I've lost one order. <laughs> Good job I put that order in with the depot, wasn't it? Which I'm assuming, yep, it's it's paid for. You can't find me if I don't have the money. <laughs> what did I do? I think, right, if we pause this. If we go back a little bit, I can't remember the name Christopher about, but it was someone from HQ. And I think they we got someone in to treat who'd been beaten the shit out of in HQ, I think, basically. I thought I sent them back that one. I can't think of anyone else. Unless it's a VIP event. Was it the grenade one? He's the German you get from the French surgeon scout mission. Ah, thanks Gaz. Yeah, that's... Was that one I was thinking of? I can't remember what we did. Obviously we didn't do what we're supposed to do. I thought I delivered him though. I was sure I delivered him to HQ. Hmm. Anyway, whatever it was, it's had a minimal impact on me, so I'm I'm fine with that. Uh, we've got another one. Oh, let's get the good news first. So we can't amputate. It appears the patient's leg is infected. We would normally need to amputate, but it seems it responds well to the medicine. So this is one extra supply. I'm going to do it. HQ requested us to send them food as they're experiencing shipment delays. So, <laughs> I'm not sending HQ 72 food. 
That's ridiculous. That's not the right time. I mean, there's... If I had more engineers, I could do this. If they sent me more engineers, I could make the food for them. But, uh... I absolutely can't... Actually, you know what I could do? I mean, I want this to go up, but... We could probably... With the amount of stuff we're getting, we could definitely afford to make food, couldn't we? I just... I need more engineers. That is just, uh... All there is to it, really. I'm going to take one out of you. The thing is, we'll put them in um, a 12-hour shift system. I'm going to put you on resting. And it's just going to take longer to, d to dig this, unfortunately. It's a, it's a big upgrade, is that? Oh, well, it is what it is. We got someone waiting at CCS. Oh, hang on. Let's just get the this one out first. Shorter rehab. Um, patient has strong will. Sir, new patient arrived. We have two waiting. So at this point, terminal and terminal. Okay. Well, your well rested is. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let him have six minutes extra sleep because I think he gets well rested after that, doesn't he? Or is he just rested? You know what? He's not going to have that luxury. And then on the other two... Sir, doctor is starting a new ship. Let's see who's going to... We can actually click and see who's going to be quick. So... Uh, Jack Morley. Edith's in the uh, chemical station, I think. So let's look at Jack Morley. I think that's the, the thing. Let's see if I go to the right one. Was I right? Was I right? Yeah, so he's going to be out quick. Uh, you can go in, and that's a quick job as well. That's fine. Trauma is okay for now. And chemical rods. Have a look at my engineers. Make sure I've got these the right way around. We've got enough trauma stuff. I'm going to quickly shift production to there. To try and get some more of those turned out. Until the numbers level up. Because we... Well, these are slower to treat. Mind you, we've got twice as many surgeons now for that. Sir, new patient arrived. Someone is exhausted in the clearing station. It's got to be a medic, is it? Yep, let's put you in. Switch them out. We've got one reserve medic at the moment, whilst everyone else... It's so slow, I think, getting patients from here to here. Anyway, yeah, luckily, cemetery's okay at the moment. I did send yeah, that guy back to the trenches. Patient hmm. Patient being transported died from their wounds. Dr. Jules Webb waits new assignments and there's one person waiting. Who have we got? Okay, uh, you can go on the well-rested one, and on here, stable, someone who's stable, that's really, really nice. Go in there. Sir, operation uh, let's successful. make use of this. Uh, patient has severe burns, but it seems his body has already started to heal. Sir, new patient arrived. Hmm, all the goddamn time. Okay, you're good. This is an eight-hour one. That's fine. We'll just put you up there. Okay, so there is another battle coming on the 17th, so we will need to turf people out. Actually, let me go and have a look. We have a few people pending here. <laughs> right, so the plus threes, we need to get the combat power up fairly quickly. I do need orders as well. It's gone instantly green, which is excellent. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna put a few in here because mind you oh there's a plus three and a plus three we're gonna get enough people to fill that up aren't we so let me get some extra orders coming extra drafts coming I'll spend you 
plus seven. Hmm. We're gonna get some in there. In there. Sir, patient is cured. It's gonna get some instant stuff. So if we need to Sir, buy food and other things, successful. we can afford it. Actually, if I release a load of those. Sir, operation was successful. Provide the food. Go to here. Order resources with these new orders. I think this is the way to do this. So that basically pays for the food we've done. Confirm order. And then let's go to higher personnel. And what should we have? I need a... Uh, the, the engineers. Damn, I need engineer housing. Okay. So I need a medic team. I'm pretty sure I need a medic team. And these are cheap. We're going to get two. That's going to make a difference. That is going to make a difference. Right, we've done it. Use drafts to order food. Yeah, Callum. That's just what I was thinking. You always cheese it the same. Spend the food and order it with tickets. It's lucky that we had enough. Oh, God. Oh, this is not good. Uh, Angus is concerned that the explosives for the tunnel can get wet because of the rain. He wants to move all the explosives to the tunnel now. Pravin suggests that this is not wise, as any stray shell could potentially trigger an explosion. Angus, however, insists on taking it. So, prepare a canopy. Insufficient resources. I need 10 orders. Send engineers to construct storage. That would have been cheaper. Leave Angus to his own devices. Um, I didn't really want that to to happen now, but it looks like it's happened and I can't do anything about it, so. So, let me guess, this tunnel that I've spent about six days digging so far um, is going to get blown up. And that, that's, that's my prediction. So, it seems the infection was not serious. We have high hopes for the patient's recovery. Unfortunately, the body shows signs of dehydration and emaciation. We would recommend prolonging his recovery. Longer rehab, not Sir, a problem. Operation was successful. Not a problem. I can live with that. Sir, patient is cured. Uh, food Sir, shortage in, in seven hours. I'm hoping food delivery in four hours, two hours, two hours. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, pause, pause, pause. Let me have a think. Save the game. VIP cured. Excellent. Uh, we'll we'll upgrade this chap first. So this is hysterical. Wow. So he's picked up this trait. Hysterical works much worse at ADS. Dead serious. They work significantly better at the cemetery. You see, when we assign people on that assignment screen, we need to see these stats, I think. He's most horrified by the victims of gas attacks, vomiting dark skin and blind eyes. Tires significantly slower and working slow low. Eats once every two days. Tires significantly slower. They work better at the ceremony. Oh, hang on. That, is that an exchange for... Oh, ex exchange for extroverted. Works less efficiently. Others working with them perform slightly better. I think the passionate tires significantly slower. So, right, so it's Norman Head. Oh, let's just treat this. Damage to the patient's body is just superficial. Right, so Norman Head. We need to remember that name. So when I go in here, he's here. So he doesn't like working here. That's absolutely fine. We can just throw him in like that. We do need someone working on there. So we've got 15 people working in the trenches. It's it's nice. Okay, this is I think this is dragging them in faster. I think it's working. Yeah, apparently traits can be uh, exchanged. Sir, medics are on the way. We have new medics coming in soon. Let's have a look. There must be some more people inside this. There's one. He's stable. Straight on the table. He's going to get rested. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Nice timing. The scouts are back. New patient arrived. 
just as time. Preview teams. So, if I click on this, this depot. Oh, fetch the truck. Look, it's filled up, but I have to go in and manually select it, I think. I would love it if that was automatic. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, I can send them back to the hospital, but they have nothing with them. Did I not upgrade the scout team? I thought I did that upgrade. Huh. Anyway, we've got uh, counter espionage. Which one is this one? Is this it over here? This is driving me nuts. This, this, I can't, I can't actually just put the thing on there because the background moves it off the bloody pointer. Scout team will track down the German convoy responsible. Okay, a sign. Sir, scout unit has started a new mission. Right, let me go to, uh, let me go to this. Higher personnel. Scouts. I never saw this. It does require personnel to do, though. Sir, Not like the free one at the start. The you upgrade the scout tent, but you still need to request hire a scout. Yeah, I need to do that. We are out of food. Oh, I thought the train Sir, was bringing... The I thought the train was bringing 80 in. It is. It just hasn't arrived yet. So, hang on. I could have sworn that that said the next lot is in 6 hours 40 minutes. But something's eaten all the food. And the train was supposed to arrive before that timer came up? I don't know. Wasn't it? Did I misread that? I might have misread it. Operation was successful. Okay, what have we got? Appears the patient's leg is infected. We could normally proceed to need to amputate, but it seems he responds well to medicine. We have high hopes it would be enough to save his leg. Uh, we'll go for we'll go for that because we are just holding our own at this. These numbers have, have come back up. Let's go to the engineers. He's exhausted, so he gets a rest. Uh, these we do need to produce food. I think I need to bring people out of this because this just isn't um, this this isn't currently working for us. We'll get the upgrade once we get some stuff back. Um, I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? We prefer to work in the engineering depot. Uh, let's have a look. Do not have any preferences, right? Switch those over. We prefer not to work in the engineering depot. Switch those over. Would prefer oh he's not to work in the engineering depot as well i've done that wrong haven't i so it should be you and you and uh, no preference 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 they're all okay right okay so uh what do we need the alcohol is the only thing currently sustaining itself and i think we're probably going to need more of these as my guess so who's exhausted the nurses are fine for the time being. The medic teams are fine. Oh, was it a... Oh, it was, it was one of the engineers. Okay. When are my new staff coming, by the way? Two... It's two medic teams that are coming, isn't it? Because the engineer house was full. I remember now. Dr. Miley Stewart awaits a new assignment. There are five patients. I didn't see the warning for this. Right, let's start over here. Stable. Uh, it's a four-hour one. It's a tricky one and exhausting. You'll probably want to rest after this, will you? Screw it. You can come out of retirement early. You can, you can get to it. Stable and good. Stable. Good. Trauma stuff is, is getting expensive, isn't it? And recovery here. These are both good. You're well rested. That's a slightly tiring, tiring one. And you can go on... Um, that should be done faster. Sir, 
So the surgery ward is actually... Oh, we've got someone exhausted on this, have we? It's going to be a nurse. She's extremely exhausted. Uh, okay, we're, we're on to 24-hour shifts then, and you're going to have to go over there and rest up. Nothing I can do. If the other ones actually manage to overcome that, then Fair. we're good. It is a fine day when a soldier as brave as Private Rogers returns to the front line in glory. This act will surely inspire my soldiers and boost their morale. So what do we get for that? Just a big morale boost? Steve Rogers. Sir, operation I like the successful. names in this, um, by the way, Bartos, if you're still watching. There's some cool names in this. Right. What do we need? We need to get back in the trenches. These are all plus twos. He has zero combat experience, but he can gain some. We'll put him in there. He has some. He has some. He has very little. So we'll throw him out. Yeah, he can't gain any more than that, so we'll send him on. There's tired medics. When are they coming? They've arrived. Okay, they've arrived. Let's see. So medic teams. Brilliant. This is what we want. Uh, we need someone on the graveyard shift, so no preferences to you guys. Like to work. Who's the one that doesn't want to work in... It was Norman Head. He will not work in here, so you're fine doing 24 hours in the graveyard. Um, we're about to lose these two because they're exhausted. You can come out for a rest. We've still got two teams out there. You can in 21 hours, in 17 hours... I'm going to put these on 12-hour shifts. I'm going to put you in here and this team on shift one and this team on shift two because then they still get the morale boost, right? Brilliant. That works well. And what do you, you don't have preference at all. I could put them on a 12-hour shift. No, I'll need to rest them because I want them on the advanced dressing station. They're still wounded in the trenches. Sir, medics are on the way. Right, we'll switch them around like that. There's an engineer knackered in the pharmacy, <laughs> which is no great surprise. But I do think at this moment, you better work on that. So we're just we're just cranking out production as much as possible. Sir, Engineers houses we need to do. Oh, God, there's two of these. Right. Let's have the good news first. Shorter rehab for being strong willed. And oh, this guy, we need the anti tetanus serum. Uh, this guy performed procedure without anesthesia. Good luck. Here's a leather strap to bite down on. It was Tom. It was Captain America. We yeah. had Steve and Rogers, Captain America, party. in this. There's been a few famous names. Can't remember what the previous one was, but we've we've had one or two yeah. through. Medics reach the casualty clearing station. Sir, medics reach the casualty clearing station. Uh, shorter rehab but increased cost. Infected leg. Let's go for that. I like the rehabs to get them out faster, actually. It's not always important, but if it's the cost of one medicine, then I'm, I'm doing that. Um, assignments. Engineers. Someone exhausted in the pharmacy. That's okay. This this side of things is, is coping okay, and the food's going back up, which is excellent. So if the food's going back up, I say we bring someone out... And we get someone slowly working on there until the food becomes a problem again. Mind you, we've got so much of this that we're currently... Well, I mean, we, we can't store more than we have, so I'm not too concerned about that. As long as I don't have to keep ordering extra supplies of medicines, we should be okay. Um, I would like to get that done. It's, it's 28 hours. It's a lot of time, but we'll only do it if we tick away at it, so... We'll see if we can some crank through some. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Do you know what? How much? We can bank some of this stuff, can't we? We can do this. So if I go to housing, uh, medic team rooms, nurse team rooms, engineers rooms, it costs six orders. Improve. All I need to do from the staff lodging no, I'll go from the upgrade one. Sign. 
So we lose the orders, but that's okay. There's more coming. We bank some of those so we're not wasting as many. And that way... Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. What have we got? A plus three. Two plus threes. Going straight into combat. Still not blue. Sir, patient is cured. And in here. Two more on the trauma ward. Right, this is this is starting to rack up a little bit now. We've got 15 hours. He actually, with two chevrons pointing down, I think that means he's going to decrease quite quickly. He's got one, so let's switch them over. And this has got one, and he's good as well. So let's put him in. And by the time they get down the list, that we should have enough of those created. And on here, he's good. This is simple-ish. In you go. We're doing fine. Will I play Iron Harvest on YouTube? Iron Harvest? I feel that that's a game I've seen. Have I even played it? Is that a real-time strategy game where it's like World War I but with like more mech and steampunky type of stuff? It sounds familiar. I've either played it, looked at it, or I've had some interaction with it, I'm sure. I mean, I don't have plans to at the moment, but I might be thinking of the wrong game. Hmm. Engineers and nurses. Oh, we've got a we've got a, a medic upgrade up here. Save the game. It was that one. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be um, doing that one. I'm, I do play some older games, but I think I need to. Sir, there's going to be a lot of new ones coming out soon. Um, we lost a patient. Where's the Sir, guy? Medics are on the way. There he is. Oh, I can't. Oh, here he is. Here he is. So he works. Oh, he works slightly worse at ADS. This is the thing. I need to know about things like this, and I can't see when I'm switching people around. So, morale increases over time when they work at CCS. I could switch them into that. Tires slower. They perform better at ADS, which would negate that one. Okay, let's, let's, let's do that one. It should negate, I think, that penalty. Um, what was I saying? New the games we're going to stream this year. I feel like I've got to finish Starfield. It's kind of an unpopular one, that, but um, I feel like I, I need to do it. Maybe, but we're gonna. I'm going to try and get through it quickly. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 I'll probably play. I might even stream Dragon's Dogma 1 because I've never actually uh, finished that. I've, I've played a little bit just to test yeah. it out. Patient is cured. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, this year... I did have a list, but I can't remember what the others were. You're full of combat XP. You can go in there. And you can go in there because you don't have much value at the front. Sir, patient is cured. Bad news. Here's the medicine prepared for this operation may be contaminated with other substances. Yeah, probably like alcohol and rations because they're all made in the same place. That it could endanger the patient's life. I would like to recommend discarding the prepared dosage and making a new batch. Go on then. There's no point making things worse. I blame the engineers. So August the 18th, I think this chapter finishes. Not finishes. Yes, finishes. Was it 2018? I think so. Sir, new patient arrived. What have we got? Two more in here. Oh, this is this is what I like to see. Just doctors sitting around smoking and drinking coffee. This is exactly what we like to see. So let's get them both in. Uh, we've got issues at the clearing station here. So these are on the 20 till 8 shift. Oh, that's going to be an all night thing, isn't it? And there's one exhausted over there. Um, well, let's switch these around. Let's put these on, on shift 2. And put those on shift 1 so they can rest up and see if that is enough. And then we'll switch you out. 
I'm guessing the medics need to go home, don't they? Someone tired in the pharmacy as well. Just an exhausted engineer. I think we need to keep him working. So we'll switch him in. Uh, 24 hour shifts are kind of brutal, but um, I guess in times of emergency, totally required. Big Sir, drop in morale. Did someone just die? Sir, engineers reached I'm, I'm going to guess. No, no one's actually deceased out there. We can't amputate. All right, so we go for more medicine. We can afford the more medicine at the moment. And this is just a uh, bullet passed straight through. So it's good when I love getting those, those positive ones. We don't get too many negatives. I'm quite happy about that. So this particular battle, uh, the issue seems to be getting the casualties from the front to the clearing station because the surgeons are coping quite well. Shall I go and have a look at that scout hut and see what the deal is with this? Uh, I, I don't know how to do this. I wish I had a timer for it so I could see it working, but I, I just don't seem to be able to do anything with this. I don't know that this is working as it should be. I don't know how it's supposed to work though, so I, I can't say for sure, but it just it seems yeah, a bit wrong. Hey, Da Vinci Gaming, welcome back. How's it going? How are you getting on with War Hospital? I'm in the um, 15th of August in Chapter 2 now. And it's uh, like the focuses of the game shifts. Like, like this, the first one, it's resources and doctors. The second chapter, resources I'm generally fine for. Um, it's a shortage of medics and getting people moved along fast enough. Sir, but yeah, I saw you streaming it the other day. It's nice to watch for a bit. Got a lot of wounded soldiers waiting to come in. A little ahead of you then. And the second is different. Sir, operation was successful. Engineers' rooms was finished. Oh, I, that's right. I put them onto that, didn't I? Okay. So as no one's exhausted, we'll start working on this one. So at okay. this point, we could hire more engineers. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the camp improvements. So what's the third one for the... Now that would be a real nice one. Decreases rest time needed for units by 20%. And that's just allows me to hire more engineers. So there's no rush to get that. There's nothing we can actually build at the moment. So we need to wait for some people to be evacuated out. Sir, engineers reach the engineering depot. Let's speed this up. Sir, patient is cured. Uh, in the pharmacy again. This is the one in the pharmacy where I'm really having to switch people in and out quite a bit. It's nice that you don't have to worry about it here. They'll just go for a rest when they're exhausted. Um, he wanted to prefer not to work in the engineering depot. Well, he's not at the moment. He's having a rest, so... <laughs> he should be happy over there. Actually, if I... No, I thought about putting him into there. He would rest anyway, being tired. But then I need someone ready to, to switch into this one. Would prefer to work in the engine. He's my construction guy, though. He is the construction guy. He does have the benefits to reducing construction speed. Like, what's this? 26.55? 24.15. That's a saving of two hours. I'm going to switch them over like that. We're doing food and alcohol. Actually, food is probably okay for a... It won't be for long, will it? It won't be for long. Sir, engineer is on the way. Hmm, I need Sir, to produce more alcohol. The what the hell was that? What caused that to drop by 50%? Does anyone know? Because as far as I'm aware... I don't see any, I don't see any messages about that. I just had 12 people deceased. That was a load of people died in the trenches, wasn't it? Yeah, 
I'm not getting them back in time. I'm not sure what more I can do to speed that up. All right, that, that sucks. So the two that are exhausted in here. Uh, okay, so... I need to put some non-tired people into here. That was just... Um, how many medics in ADS? We'll go have a look in a second. I've had to switch them around because they're exhausted as well. Um, I have enough in the chemicals, so you can just take a rest for, for a bit. Uh, they're extremely exhausted. I've just got two teams. I had more teams than that to start with. But it seems to be... Right, we're back on 24 hours here. And you're going in there. It seems to be the case that the, the, the ADS medics bring them back to here. But the medics from here don't go and get them from here very quickly. So... That's what it seems to be. I don't know if there's something else I can do differently. See, I'm just I'm not getting enough patients in here to, to treat. Who's exhausted now? A nurse? She's extremely exhausted. That's okay. We're gonna switch over like that. What are the Oh it's just gone eight o'clock. Right, so if I put you two back in and we put twelve hours on, and you are on the the other shift, and you are on that one. She likes to work shift two. She would like to work shift two in the eight-hour system. Hey, Piranha Man. Yeah, I am enjoying this game. How are you doing, anyway? Sir, oh, we've got some upgrades here. Right, let's see. We've got a doctor. This is the first one. He's a physician, so this is the trauma. Sorry, no, the chemical guy. Um, eats once every two days. We might start using more of that. Tires slightly slower, significantly lowers chances for complications. Oh, that that's a good one. Not that we get many in in uh, in there. Works more efficiently, performs operations faster, tires slower. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah, get people through faster. Wait, we've got these building up. Uh, he's infected. We would be amputating lots, but we don't need to. And we've got the, the medications for this as well. High spirit, that's just good news. And more morale, which is recovering faster, thankfully. Oh, what's this one? The gas agent was diluted. Not as strong. We believe we can use smaller amounts of supplies. To treat the patient's injury. Uh, yes, that's a huge bonus. What's this one? Sir Major Wells. Oh, this is what I thought. I want to thank you personally for saving my life. The children are safe in Paris and the orphanage is no more. I am their caretaker no more. If you're willing, I'd like to join as a nurse. I was right. I called that, didn't I, earlier? And then I'm thinking, yeah, but maybe she's just a caretaker. Okay, that's not exactly nursing skills. Uh, we decline for now. We pause the damn game because this is running away with me for a minute. What do they want? Send the refugees away. This lowers morale. Plus nine civilians. Send them away. I, I can't feed them. I don't care about the morale. I literally can't feed them. So go to this. Actually, go to... I need improvements. What's it cost to um, build more nurses' housing? Although at the moment, I don't actually need any, but a uh, free nurse is not to be sniffed at. Six. That's expensive. That is a bit expensive. Okay, well... I think we probably need it. Um, we want the engineers exhausted. Swap him out. He goes in there. Um, I kind of want to get that finished. Alcohol and food. Okay, we're going to put two in there. They're on 12-hour shifts, these guys. So they won't get tired and I can move them out if I need to. You got a splitting headache because of a trapped nerve in your neck? Ah, oh, that sucks. You're looking for the best budget infrared night vision online, like as a camera or a, or a scope or binoculars. I wouldn't know what to suggest. I don't think I've ever used. I have used a night vision camera. I, I set one up for a client, actually, a hedgehog camera, which is awesome. A remote hedgehog camera. Um, but that's not quite the same thing, I'm sure. 
Isn't there an improvement that grants us ambulance? Yes, there is actually. Let me have a look at that. The, um... Is it under the warehouse one? There's a casualty clearing station, which would be nice. Is it un... I don't know what it's under, actually. It's not under these. Emergency measures... Oh, wow, we can send them to the trenches before they're fully rehabbed. That's that's savage. Uh, is it production? Truck garage. Increases number of available trucks. Increases number of available trucks. I don't think it is this, is it? But I, I know what you mean because I have seen it. I just don't know where it is. I thought it might be under healing. This is the casualty clearing advanced dressing station. Right, is it under that? Extra slots for medics. I think we need to get medics into the advanced dressing station. And that seems to be one of like the most urgent things. This one here. So we need to get this. And then allows ambulances to transport wounded to CCS. And increases the number of available ambulances. And we need both of those. This is a key thing to, to do because this is where I think we're failing at the moment. And that's going to get harder as the, the game goes on. Where you camp March to October is a lot of wildlife. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, we need to work on that one. So, we need... We need orders. I need a lot of orders. I want a free nurse before she goes away, but we have time to, to do that. Right, what have we got in the way of plus threes? None of them. So, the plus twos. Come on, we'll put the plus twos in. He has no combat experience, but he will gain some. It's gone blue. Everyone else is for sale to the highest bidder. Right, excellent. We're in business now. Let's have a look at the patients. He's currently stable. He's straight in there. And on there. He's critical. Okay, three hours. It's, it's potentially treatable. Uh, let's go on. So I need... A load of upgrades for... I think we'll get the ambulance thing ready for Tier Sir, 3. Chapter 3, because I don't think we'll get it ready for this one. Sir, engineers the Maybe. With all the food and everything else that's coming in, it's, uh, it's tricky. Scouts Sir, are busy. Operation was successful. Oh, Sir, oh, not good. We lost this patient. We lost someone. Patient shows symptoms of infection and blood in the urine. I fear his kidneys may be damaged. Uh, yeah, go on. That's okay. We can do those treatments because those guys are fine. What is... Died during operation. Sir, patient is cured. I don't like losing them. We're approaching a 50-50 on this, which is not great. Two doctors are awaiting Sir, assignments. Operation was successful. Oh, wow. I didn't see a notification for these coming in. Right, critical, terminal. He's dead. Good, good. We we can't do this. We can't possibly do this. So he's unlikely to survive this anyway. So unfortunately, that's the first one for a while we've had to do this. I need another chemical guy. Uh, let's go to this one first. These are all handling themselves quite well. Okay, I guess we just put them on the on the list. And we have a, a rest set there and a rest set there. We can we can deal with that. That's coming in. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a bit more urgent. One hours. We like one hours. They're good. Uh, five hours. And the guys that are good. Yeah, we can afford to put them all in. Um, this guy... He could probably go through here faster. It's fine. We'll get them done. Sir, new patient arrived. So let me have a look at this now. So in the trenches, a non. So let's let's change this. So we can change the medics. So there's no one left in the trenches. The guy in the graveyard is about to pass out. Working a 24-hour shift. That is quite understandable. I should try and look at the st the perks for these. I can't remember. I'm not going to care too much about it. It's because it's it's switching between screens and remembering names. Um, they were the twins. They were the VIP we rescued, though, weren't they? 
tire slower when working slow solo. That's fine. He's, he's on his own in the graveyard then. That's that's fine. Uh, the advanced dressing station. I don't even think they need to be up there now. Back to 12 hours with this. Would like to work on shift one. Would like to work on shift one in the 12 hour shift system. He is. That's got it. Does not have any preferences. Uh, he can be on shift one. You can be on shift two. Casualty clearing. Casualty clearing. No preference. No preference. No preference. Uh, that's fine. This is going to give us an opportunity to try and build some morale back up. Uh, you can go on 12-hour shifts here, actually. And I think they might both recover. Because I don't think there's anything to do. Waiting for the medic team. It says three. We should be okay. 17 Seven. waiting for operations. Okay. Away. These guys are moving now. You're worth... I hate to say it like that. This is a complicated guy as well. So let's let's put him back. You can see everyone before he's tired. So that's good. Uh, serious and stable. Uh, you're going to be out there soon. And the stable one. Uh, that should be through pretty quick. We'll put the rest on there. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna that's way. definitely gonna fill up. So we have severe burns, but they're okay. And we have something bad. Uh detect signs of hepatitis. If we do not treat it now, it has a high probability of killing the patient in the next few years. Oh, we can afford that one. We can afford that one, so that's not too bad. You suggest to upgrade the nurse housing first since the free nurse offer stands for two days. Yes, I'll get that one done. That's a good shout. Oh, decreased costs are shorter rehab. Decreased costs because we've got some... We've got some demands coming on that right now. Right, so how are we doing in the situation of engineers? Uh, I think it was six we needed for the nurses' improvements, wasn't it? Medic, nurse, six. Yeah, that's expensive. I mean, we're going to be able to afford it, but it, it is expensive. There we go. Oh, we can afford it straight away, as it turns out. Because that's going to help. Right. Extra nurse. Sir, patient is cured. Extra nurse. Improvements. Housing. Nurses housing. Spend. And we've got one in staff lodging. I'm going to have to go and look at that food situation. Um, and he's resting. We'll switch him over. And let's have a... Yeah, let's assign that. Because that'll get done reasonably quick. Oh, I want this, don't I? Right, this is starting to get low. We need the food production. Just to limp us along until the trains come. I might have to go on half rations. <laughs> ah, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. The scouts are still coming. Okay. I might just have to switch him between those two. But let's get the nurse housing done and then we can get the two engineers back. It'll be fairly quick. Did someone else just die? Yeah. We're, Sir, we're struggling now. Uh, serious wounds coming in. So we need to drop him. That one's a difficult one, but I think we can do it. So I'm going to... I'm not throwing anyone out now if we can avoid it. We're just going to have to juggle the patients as they come in. But the medics are in a good situation, so... Oh, sorry, the surgeons are in a good situation, so they should be okay. Sir, operation was successful. Medics are on the way. Sir, operation was successful. Good. Okay, so... This is filling up. Let's speed up a little bit more. Until the panic moment. Sir, new patient arrived. Sir, patient is cured. 
He's on good. Good, good, good. These these are all doing fine so far. We just put them on the on the list. Oh, I better drop you down to there. Something must have happened. It must have been a a change in the um, in the surgery that uh, caused the thing to take longer. Yeah, it is brutal how many um, staff chits you get to try and uh, recruit more staff. Right, come on, engineers, get me the nurse house. Then I want the free nurse. Sir, we lost right. this patient. Oh god, that's not good. Save the game. Morale's been down low like this before. It, it's fine. We'll get it back. As long as we don't start starving or have to go into emergency rations. I want to see what this is. Right, some soldiers ask you to intervene on their behalf to Angus. He forces his miners to work long shifts in the dark. Far above acceptable work times, if this continues, the miners will surely suffer from stress and mental fatigue. Force him to shorten the shifts. It'll take more time to finish the tunnel, but it'll be in better shape. Provide Angus with additional workers. Promise to send soldiers worth 15 combat power to the trenches in the next 18 hours. I can't promise to do that. Force him to shorten the shifts. I am the medical orderly. I can order this. Shorter rehab because he's got a strong will. Seems to be responding to treatment really well and is expected to recover faster. And a problem at the Sir? operating ward. Yes. Is it the nurse? Yeah, okay, we could do the new nurse. So we temporarily put her on to 24 hours and we take her out of the rotation. The other 12 hour shifts seem to be working okay, so I wonder if someone here is just exhausting to work with. Sir? Are on the way. We've all worked with people like that at right at some time. I'm sure you have. Oh, good news. Patience will is strong, shorter rehab. Bring it on. I, I love that. Oh, did I see a I did I saw a pause. Save. It's a shame the, the dev's still not still in the stream. I would love to. I'd love it if you come in the stream and said, oh yeah, yeah, we knew about the, uh, the, the staff perk bug, we fixed it. I love hearing stuff like that, <laughs> but until then, we save the game every time. So, what have we got? He's currently got tiring slower, others working with them tire less, which is good. Um, morale increases over time when they work at CCS, others working with them perform better, they perform better at ADS. Morale slightly increases when they work. Just increases when they work might be better. I could put them into ADS, but I might forget. It's Douglas Campbell. Just morale slightly increases when they work, so working anywhere. Yeah, I'll take that one. Then they're not restricted to where I put them. It's probably not as big a bonus. But I'm going to assume it's just uh, it's just a nice simple one and we don't need to worry about it. Did we have more patients coming in, by the way? Yeah, I thought so. Serious, stable and good. Serious slots in there. The stable slots in there. Rest. And good. And drop on the end there. Are we running out of food? It's not looking great, is it? 30 in three hours. We're not producing that much. Oh, God. This is going to be normal procedures then. It appears the toxin did not have time to spread throughout the body yet, and the poisoning was only mild. Patients' hopes of survival are significantly higher than expected. It's the sodium hypochloride washes. Missing improvement. Sodium. I, I haven't, I'm going to have to see what that is. Because I don't think I've seen that anywhere. Unless it's a, an optional one and we took the other. It could be. It could be. Was that an optional one and we took the other half? So it might be there. I think that's what it was. Ooh, that would be nice. These are getting expensive. Uh, that We need that improvement as well. There's so many improvements we need. 
Come on, engineers. We Sir, need... Operation was successful. We need the engineer thing doing quick. Oh, it's nearly done. I had missed seeing this. It looked all dark. And... Sir, pause. Operation was successful. Uh, this is nice. Shorter operation. I like those. Right, okay. So, now we can get the nurse, accept the offer. We can go straight into assignments. And this is... She doesn't have any preferences. Should we have a look at her? She might just come with a perk. Nurse Edith. Oh, God. Others working with them perform slightly worse. Work slightly slower. Morale slightly increases when they work. Oh, that's that sucks. Oh, God. She never showed me that on the CV before uh, I took her on. Right, 12-hour shift. I'd like to work shift two, so it matters not a bit uh, for that. And we just have a spare, which I could put in the operating ward. Or I could keep as a spare, or I could put maybe in rehab. Or casualty clearing station. We can't go down to eight hours yet. Rehab would get them out faster. Operating... Uh, patient state improved by... This... I think is the thing to do so we'll put her on shift one for now <laughs> did I actually go down it didn't change did it I'll keep her as a spare I don't think there's a particular benefit to that She'll be handy when we get the eight-hour shifts, I think. I can't do the eight-hour shifts. I think that's an upgrade. So if we look at healing, I can't remember what it was under before, but what's the nursing station? Is there even... There must be a nurse... No, there isn't a nursing station, isn't it? That's stupid. Um, there was something I clicked on before... Which gave me eight hour shifts, and I it wouldn't be under production, was it? Pharmacy. You got it figured out, Commander Grados? You got things that were broken now working? Right, there's got to be something in here. Let's have a look at the end. Uh, slots for nurses. Allows a three. Right, this is it. This is the eight hour shifts. It must have been that, was it? Unlocks a shift system. This one unlocks... Um, we can just put more nurses in, but this is a, the, the eight-hour shift system. So what we need is this, which is the casualty clearing station, just more beds and more slots for nurses and medics. But before I get to... Oh, God, there's so much I need to go back to. So the healing one I wanted was that one or that one. It's that one, so I need five or five drafts for that. There must be some people in here to come out. Right, excellent. This is going to start boosting our capabilities. And by God, do we need these. And we probably need... We probably need some food ordering. Although it's kind of just balanced at the moment. The scouts get back in nine minutes. Let's see what the scouts yeah, have to say. Uh, we can't build anything anyway, so... But we'll have a look at the engineer's assignments. Oh, what about the medics? So they've rested up. That's fine. We could do with someone working in there. I'm going to put this on 24 hours. Because I don't think they'll do anything anyway. And I'm going to put you in here, and this is going to be a 12-hour shift. So these guys are going to be absolutely fine. And you... Actually, I could take them out. And I may as well put the... those guys in. 
There's nothing for them to do, so they don't need to be in there, I think, as I read this. <sighs> I'm getting those upgrades. And as we get people through surgery, Sir, uh, we'll get stuff through. So, ah, the scouts, this is the thing. Following the tire tracks, the scout team encounters some sort of German camp. Around 10 soldiers, two trucks and a couple of tents. The commander knows they are probably only part of the convoy they have been tracking. Uh, there were not nearly enough soldiers or trucks to have left so many tracks. While observing the camp, it quickly became clear that they were left behind because of some sort of issue with the trucks. So infiltrate the camp under cover of darkness, storm the camp in a frontal attack, wait until they leave and then follow the Germans. Infiltrate under cover of darkness. Sir, scout unit have started a new mission. Let me have a look at the um, this again. It's still on depot output 10, still on 10. If I click on fetch truck, I could click on cancel truck, but I don't know if that's going to help. I don't know what to do with that. I do need to finish the other upgrade that the engineers were doing. You're quite right. Actually, I went in there to look at engineers, didn't I? And so we're going to need... Okay, so you're... These two... These two need to come out and, and take a rest. You can go in. Prefer to work in the engineering depot. So you can come over there. And he'll be happy. And we need that morale recovery. No preference, no preference. No preference. And they're fine. So on 24 hour shifts, working like mad, which we are starting to do okay with. Right, let's let's take a look. I'll let them rest and then we'll... Actually, if I do... Mm. They're going to do a bit of work on it. We'll keep one. We'll keep one ticking away and keep one spare because we will need to put someone in this. So I was looking at or going to look at. Can't remember what I was going to go and look at. There was something else I was going to check. Oh, yes. Yes, that's what it is. We're going to look at this. That's okay. We've got people waiting. This one is not going to survive. So they can go in next. And he'll be exhausted, but that's that's okay. We can we can deal with that as long as we get him through. Uh, sorry, Commander, uh, Commander uh, Geridos, I didn't see the end. You disabled V-Sync and it fixed your pop-up and quest issue. Oh, nice. Okay. You had to restart. You're also running the game as an admin. That's good news. Hey, Nathan. Could you look at the trauma ward? You think one had a skull? Ah, well spotted. Yeah, I've just got in there, just ahead of you. Well, actually, you were ahead of me. I just didn't read the comment in time. I don't think we need a scout team to fetch the truck. I don't think so. But I don't know how that truck's working. I need to recruit yeah, a second scout team. The but there's not much I can do about that at the moment, sadly. So, let's get some more good news. Shorter operation. Because it's a nice clean yeah. wound. Nurses reached the hospital. Okay, let's speed things back up. We're just waiting now, I yeah. think, for... Engineers reached the pharmacy. Oh, the, 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 the engineers are tired. Yeah. Already. Um, I do kind of need him... in there, so... This is the trauma stuff, isn't it? Actually, I probably need him more on there. The alcohol is... Well, we're maintaining the alcohol. We're just about maintaining the food by working 12-hour shifts Sir, there. Engineer is on the way. Sir, medics are on the way. Let me have a look at my housing. Sir, patient... patient died? Patient cured, were you going to say? So, I can... We can have the physician when we get the opportunity. We're maxed on medics. Um, engineers we can afford more of. We've got housing space. Nurses, we're good for a bit. And scouts. I'd like the scout.
So what do we do? The patient's room is unexpectedly clean. There's an extremely low chance that it would get infected. Do you know what? We're this this is this is beneficial. Let's let's do this. Yeah, we lost a few people there. It was it was sad. It was in the ADS. So that's what we need to work on. We need to get the ambulances. We need to get the more all the medics thrown into that. I think when the big battles start. Uh, nice. This was high spirits. I'm gonna go check this again, just to see how everyone's doing. It looks uh, it looks good so far. There's a stable one. Okay, you need to come up there. It's just a case of balancing these out. And on the chemical ward, that's good. And on here, uh, everyone's good. And I think they're going to make a full recovery. Sir, operation was successful. And we're keeping up on that. And I, would, I just need these so I can start upgrading Sir, and spending the resources. That's what I need. So this should be filling up nicely. This is going to give us... Oh, this is, this is what we like to see. So over the next day, we're going to have a ton of these coming through. Nice. 20. Oh, that's going to be so good. Sir, patient is cured. We can do some big upgrades on that. So we're missing the um, oxygen tanks, I think, for this. Patient's torso was pierced with a bayonet, major lung damage, and he's barely breathing. We don't have any options for that, unfortunately. However, the gas agent was diluted, not as strong, so this is save some supplies or do the procedure by the book. Save supplies and also shorter yeah, operation. operation was successful. And a lot of the time, it's just getting those operations down quicker that really matters. Sir, we lost this patient. All right, hang on. Hang on, we, we're losing people. Slow down a minute whilst I have a think about this. So what we can do, because the food is, is not looking great, I'm going to spend one. And that just keeps us above that minimum level whilst we get other things upgraded. So we now have points to spend. This requires, this is the advanced dressing station. Let's get that improved. Uh, in staff lodging and upgrading, we, we have people working. This is 18 hours. We kind of need to get that one done, but I need to put someone in to start with. And let's see, I need to, I need, I need more engineers. These key, these guys keep, seem to be key. I'll have a look at the schedule. Yeah. So this is. We're on top of things now. Let's put this on 12-hour shifts and hopefully people aren't going to be overly exhausted by it. So what we'll do, we're on 12.57 a.m. That's still a long time to go, isn't it? He has no preference. He has no preference. Let's switch these guys out. That works well. He can have a rest. Um... Actually, if they're on 12 hour shifts, I can afford to have them just one in there. I think. So, let's have a look. Does anyone want to work in the engineering depot? Alright, he's fine there. Because what we should do is put another guy into there. And get this thing finished. This is the thing that really is slowing us. And then uh, we are short on... He needs to come out so he can go in there. And we put him in there on a 12-hour shift. We hope that works. The food we need to produce. We need to get this down to 11 hours. It's still a fairly big... Still a fairly big piece of work. All right. So is there anyone in here? Give me all these drafts. And then we've got stuff to spend. And we should be good again. Better to finish the engineer's update so you can hire one more and use it for a spare a building. We urgently need trauma medicine. It's getting low, but at the same time, as far as I know... Oh, we do need trauma medicine. Okay, there's more on this list than I thought. It's because they take so damn long to go through, isn't it? Where did these guys come from? I thought we'd, we'd dealt with everyone. Okay, let's, let's go back to... Uh, 
Let's reassess that. We do need trauma medicine. Um, no preference, no preference. He would like to work there, but he reduces the build time. So we'll put him in there. And we'll put you on shift two, so you start working straight away. So they're working their way through. Let's just see if they can produce just enough to keep us above the limit until we've got this thing built. Sir, engineers reached the engineering depot. And we'll see if we can just scrape by on that. It's kind of a tricky balance just to, to get everything done. Oh, who's in the... There's an engineer in the pharmacy straight away. Damn him. If I wasn't so desperate for food, I wouldn't really worry about this. What time of day is it? 2.23. I'll take him out until he rests, and then once yeah, he recovers, the we'll put him back in on the 12-hour system. Oof. Oh, this is not good. Here's the patient's eyes were heavily contaminated by the chemical agent. I fear that if we don't treat this now, he'll become blind. It's going to be expensive thing, this. Right, okay, so what have we got? When night fell, the scouts were ready. To their surprise, the Germans seemed to be relaxed and did not pay much attention to their surroundings. One by one, they were taken out by the scouts. Not even a single bullet was shot. The scouts found some documents and orders for the soldiers when they searched the camp. They seemed to be part of an operation called Forest Pitfall. Their orders were to clear out all the villages around an area marked on the map, but there was no information about the operation itself or its purpose. Go to the location marked on the German map. We'll investigate this further. It's an opportunity to get some real intel here. Uh, plus two. We're going to do some up heavy upgrading after this. If we have the time to do it, this is. Right, that's okay. So... Right, for, for once, this side is fine. So let's come out of there. And we go into... Oh, I've already moved them off. Yeah, he's had enough time. <laughs> he's back in. Let's put him on there. And let's send him to work. Go on then. He can get working. They'll all go off shift in a bit. But that's fine. I just really want to get that finished. It's been hanging Sir, over me for ages. Is oh, we need to personally send Sir, the scout there. The yeah, okay. This... You're dead right. It was... Which one was it? Rumours of Doom? Recently abandoned farm that could be checked out. No, Escape from Paradise? Yeah. Sir, unit have started it annoys me that when you, we, you tick those options, it doesn't instantly... Assign the scout. All right, save game. What have we got this time? This is the surgeon. He has steady hands, which is good. Works more efficiently, tires slower, and lowers chances for complications. That's a really good one. Works better. Yeah, tires slower and lowers chances for complications. Sir, patient is cured. We've got some good surgeons. Uh, schedule a longer recovery. Infection's not as serious. High hopes for his recovery. Dehydration, emaciation. Yeah, that's fine. That's morale. And a better chance of recovery. So we'll take that. Who's exhausted? Oh, it'd be the nurse. Okay. Okay. So in she goes. <laughs> She can do some work on there. At least we have a spare to swap out now when things go critical. Sir, are on the way. Alcohol production is low and that's limiting our creation of medicines. Sir, the hospital. And I'm going to, once again, I'm going to click on this. Depot in use. Fetch the truck. Don't know how to do it. Cancel the truck. Can't cancel the truck. I think that's bugged. Oh, we can see the truck there. It's sitting in the river. All right. I can't... It would... I don't know. I just don't know. It says depot income. If you guys keep an eye on it, if you ever see this increase by 10 all at once, let me know. And then we know that that's working. 
So the bullet stopped on the bone, shorter operation. And there's another one straight afterwards. Shorter rehab or decreased cost. I'll go for decreased cost. Because um, I want to stockpile a few of these before the next battle comes in. Come on, engineers. Sir, operation was successful. See, if this gets to the... Well, I do need to keep creating supplies, don't I? Because we need to stockpile them. Oh, there's still somebody else to go in here. This is fine. We can do this now. This is also fine. And someone good. Good. Okay. So this is this is working. This is working fine. We've, we're back on track of things. What the hell is this? <coughs> oh, is this TB? Sir, may I have a moment yeah. of your time? I do need to prepare for chapter three, certainly. Really? Right. What is on your mind, head doctor? Pause. Or slow down. It's... Seems that some unknown disease has started to spread among civilians. Uh. And I am becoming more and more concerned about it. Till today, I considered it as nothing more than an inconvenience. However, today, one of the sick died because of the disease. This is concerning, I agree. Unfortunately, we do not have the means to help the civilians with diseases. That is what concerns me the most, sir. I fear that the disease could spread to the soldiers and patients, and we are not prepared to handle outbreaks. That is why I would like to delegate a few people to study the disease and send the results to HQ. This should help us discover what we are against. Yeah, we can go for that. I can send a nurse. One physicians and one nurses will be unavailable for 12 hours. We can't do that yet. We might be able to soon. I don't have a second physician, which is really bad. The nurse we can afford, absolutely. Uh, let's take a look in here then. Sir, so the physicians... Killed. It's possible, actually, in four hours' time, I think we can do this. Um, and we will get something very useful as a reward, I'm assuming. I hope. So, okay, so it's not going away. Sir, new patient arrived. Please don't be on the green. It's on the green one. <laughs> well, it's not going away. It doesn't have a timer. So maybe it, it doesn't disappear. Maybe it's something that we have to do at some point. I'm going to save the game now in case this goes wrong. Save. And then uh, we'll see if we can do that once we get that list cleared. I would love Death, is points to do this, but we've got seven hours left on this upgrade. Come on, gang. Do you know what we're going to do? Right, we're going to set off the orders to, to use up some resources so we're not wasting them. So, the ones we wanted... If I do that, that's 10 orders. But that leads to... That leads to that, and it leads to that. So, improve. And all I need to do is throw one person on it at the moment... Like that and assign it. And it, it burns the resources and we're good. So, go back to assignment. And we put them back in there. The young guy speaking sounds like Henry of... Uh, Henry of KC? Henry... Which one Henry do you mean? Oh, Henry of... Um, not Henry for, of, of Scalitz from um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. This was a nice clean wound. Understood. So this is going really well. We're going to be absolutely fine for this. 
We're going to make use of all those drafts. I'm thinking the morale could do with being a bit better, but that should increase naturally over time. Whew, there's just more upgrades to do. So many more. This game is so brutal. Seth, Doctor is starting a new shift. Oh, hang on. Sir, may I speak with you? Of course. What is on your mind? The plague that broke out, sir. It is taking a heavy toll on the civilians. Yes, I am aware. Then, I would like to propose that we start admitting them for treatment. I understand that we are a military hospital, and that our priority are soldiers. Then you should understand that. But it pains me to see them suffer so much, sir. I know our supplies are not limitless, but I think the hospital can manage to treat at least some of them. Please consider it, sir. This is all I ask. Sir, operation was successful. Agree to treating civilians. Hmm. All right, let's throw it in. I mean, let's. The game is difficult enough, but let's make it really difficult. And of course, of course, this is where they come in. Well, I've agreed. <laughs> Let's throw it in there. We desperately need another physician. So I need, I need the staff requisition orders. Otherwise, I let them all die and I send this guy away for 12 hours. But New patient arrived. Who have we got? Civilian? Nope, it's a soldier. Sir, patient is cured. Yeah, I know, we're suffering with soldier casualties. I thought the game wasn't hard enough. <laughs> I thought I'd make it a bit more tricky. We'll throw everything in there. Save and see if anyone dies if you send them away for 12 hours. The trouble is it's 12 hours back on the... on the operating um, list, isn't it? It's 12 hours of time. And that's that's quite tricky. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. I was born in a military hospital, although we weren't at war at the time or on the front line. Sir, but civilians do sometimes go through military hospitals. And they did that one. It was actually joint military and civilian hospital, but technically it was a military hospital. Right, five hours. Five hours we got. Oh, secret plans. Okay. Take some time, but the scout team finds the centre point of the operation. Deep in the woods, it looks it's like some sort of German camp is being prepared. There are multiple trucks with equipment standing at the centre of the camp. At least two platoons worth of soldiers were working on some kind of excavation. It seemed like the Germans were preparing for an advanced position. Based on the pattern of excavation, there will be a double trench line and at least one line for mortar positions. The work was only beginning and it would take the Germans at least a week or two to finish it. But the commander knows that the sooner they destroy this camp, the better. Report your findings to HQ. We get ten orders. Sir, scout unit is starting that's, a new mission. That's... I don't want 10 orders. I don't. And what I want is staff points. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Doctor's come in. Uh, decreased cost of the procedure. Yes. Because we are short on these quite quite desperately. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. This was an easy operation and followed by an infection. Decreased cost. We're gonna we oh god. Yeah, this was another easy operation. Let's slow Sir, this down, it's going too fast. Good. I'm gonna have to order some parts, I think. I don't think we can get through this. So let's go. Let's go food. Well, let's take a look at the schedule, actually. We've got a bit of food and some more resources coming in. Um, actually, it's 16th and 17th of August, so there's, there is some more food. Uh, what we need is probably surgical supplies, and it's, it's these, isn't it? Well, it's these. 
But these are so expensive. I'll order some to get us through. There's six orders just, just gone like that. Having said that, we can't build what we've got queued, so... We can maybe do this. I'm going to have to go back and put those engineers on 24-hour shifts, I think. And I'm going to get some food rations just to keep us coming in. So, 10 orders. It's okay. We've got another 10 orders coming in. So, the engineers, they're 91% done with this. That is so, so close. We're nearly there. I'm going to have to assign a load to this job. I think for what we're producing 0.6 food an hour here. I think their time can be spent elsewhere better. And we just order the food in. Because that's not making much difference at all, is it? I want that finished as fast as possible. And then we need to start working on the... I don't know what that is. One of them's probably the... We need that finishing before this comes in, and that's going to be a big challenge. Seth, engineers reach the engineering depot. Shorter operation. Yeah, yes, please. Right, why are the medics tired? Jim Gork, I should wash my ears. I wonder for like a minute what food Russians are. Ah, <laughs> sorry, am I not talking very clearly? Food Russians. Yeah, we eat, ra we eat Russians. We do. Once they retired from the war, there was all these Russians kicking about, and we decided to eat them to, to help our troops survive on the front line when the corned beef ran out. They are quite nourishing. Tasted of vodka. Uh, let's have a look. What am I looking for here? The medics. I think it's the medics that are exhausted. So we've got lots in the casualty clearing station. These guys... Wow. Okay, that's, that's a problem over there. I don't think we need so many in here anymore. They can get on with that. I'm sure those two between them can cope with that. 28 people waiting to... That is bad. Extremely exhausted. Let's take them out. I think we can go all the way down to just one team on this. Still wounded outside. Let's go 24 hours and I'm just going to put three teams working all together. Four teams, because I don't think anyone needs to be there. There's nobody there at the moment. So let's get Sir, that going. Medics are on the way. What have I done? Sir, operation was oh, it's someone else. Yeah, it's somebody else here. So let's switch these two out again. Sir, nurses are on the way. Sir, operational there is not successful. enough medicine. Sir, I do have some ordered. Cemetery is understaffed. There's a lot of patients in here waiting for a decision. Oh my god. Right. Okay, so these are civilians, but they are quick to treat. They are very quick to treat. There is absolutely no way we're going to save this poor chap. So, he's gone. The stable... They would get through really fast, wouldn't they? But they're going to use a lot of medicine. I'm going to have to get that produced. Commander Geridos, you're going through chapter 1. 95% morale. It's so much better when it's not bugged. I'm glad that's working. I've got V-Sync turned on on mine, but I mean, it could work different with different people's hardware, couldn't it? Uh, that's going to be a problem there. I wish the game... Imagine if we'd sent this guy away. Imagine how bad that would be. Right, you are well rested, so you can get on with that one. And you're in good condition. <laughs> I'm going to have to spend Sir, some bits. Patient is cured. We got some bits in. I'm going to have to spend Sir, some more. New patient arrived. I just don't think there's any way around this. So there's another six gone. It's just to try and top up what I've got creating in my own stuff. Oh, we got something done. We got something done. Come on, assignment, engineers. 
So we've got the Casualty Clearing Station 2, or the Advanced... What was the Casualty Clearing Station 2? Let me have a look. Under Healing. Re that's Rehab. Uh, it's this one. So that's the big one. Right, that's the really expensive one. We don't need that as much as we need the little one. So, the Advanced Dressing Station. So Engineers... Get this done really quick. And then we can get the ambulances one done. And then we can start working on this. But we'll get people working back in this pretty quickly, I think. Do we have houses for more engineers? Can't remember. We'll take a look. So schedule a normal recovery because we want the morale. We want to bank that because it's going to go horribly wrong in a day's time. Uh, let's have a look. Patient has a very high temperature, but unfortunately we still don't know the exact cause. He may not survive. Use cooling compressors to decrease the temperature. Oh, we have someone leveled up. Let's see what we can get there. So the scouts coming home is, is good. The game is so stingy with, with this, isn't it? And recruiting new staff. So this is, works slightly less effectively, tires slightly less, tires slower when working solo. We should have him working by himself. Works significantly better when working with others. Work better at the cemetery. I mean, I, I could put them in the cemetery. Working by themselves on a 24 hour shift. Um, perform better ADS they won't be working solo there they work significantly better at the cemetery go on then These, that's going to be my cemetery team let's go on the medic teams he's exhausted so let's take him out of there so you guys can go in there so they're working better and working slo solo and should tire less as well there's still someone wounded outside here, which is which is shockingly bad. Do you know what? Let's put... I know they work better when solo, but let's try and get this backlog shifted. So we might need some industrial building equipment. There's quite a few people in there. Sir, medics are on the way. Did I... I did do the engineer thing, didn't I? Are they all resting? No, they just haven't arrived there yet. That's fine. Okay, we're watching that. Sir, medics reach the cemetery. Sir, medics are on the way. Right, let's get them those bodies buried. There's not enough medicine. Ah, that's to do with my engineers. This is going to be a shame, but we're producing a little bit. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put the engineers onto 24-hour shifts. For the time being. Um, let's let's do that. We we do have to get stuff produced. And when this is finished. Well, this is finished, we can start preparing. Slight decrease to morale. That's that's okay. Anyone else waiting? There's just a huge amount on here. And it's just gonna use a vast amount of medicine to deal with. I'm going to see if I can hold on. I'd better set a rest here, actually. Um, hmm, I should probably shouldn't have agreed to this. I, this is... Yeah, I really needed a second one of these. I guess the next time you play through the game, you would know this was coming and you would, you would plan for that. Oh, sorry, Commander Jerry. Don't worry about um, <laughs> don't worry about yeah. Nightbot there. They're just a little bit. Uh, Sir, it's my moderation bot. Successful. Cemetery is understaffed. They need more medic teams. I've put them all in there. Someone else. Oh God. Okay. So what have we got now? More civilians. So there's more civilians coming in that we just can't treat. Should I just put them all in the denied treatment box? 
think that might be where they have to go eventually. Right, I think... Sounds like a fight somewhere. Right, let's go to this. So this would be really nice. This is the casualty clearing station too. Actually, no, it wouldn't. What we absolutely need... What does that do? Or was I going to look at the wrong one? That looks nice. But the one I wanted was... It's this, doesn't it? So this one... Well, that's nice in itself, but this this one here allows ambulances to transport wounded to CCS. Improve that. And we want this before this comes in, so I'm going to throw in, in the staff lodging, everyone. And it will take a while. It's another four-hour one. Sir, engineers reached the construction site. Ah, oh, God, I, I feel like I'm hanging on by my fingertips now. This chapter was going so well at the start. Sir, new patient arrived. Ten patients. <laughs> well, soldiers get priority. If this is TB, then we have years to treat this, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> it's not necessarily a fast-acting disease. All right, so let's put you in here. This is the one side that we're dealing well with. And this we can... We can cope with. So get those wounded people dealt with. Eight Sir, patients, I know. I know, unless HQ is going to send me some of this, we're doing nothing. What do I get as a reward for this? It has to be a physician, doesn't it? It's a shame that it can't be any surgeon. Because I, I could deal with that. Shame. Wealthy, you were afraid this chapter was going to be a walk in the park? Yeah, I think I'm... Sir, operation was successful. Well, okay. I don't know what I can do, actually. I, I can't... You can't create the staff requisitions, can you? Uh, let's have a look. Couldn't find the exit wound for the bullet. Further examination reveals that the bullet is still in the wounded man's body. Order the doctor to locate it manually, but we have an x-ray device, which is why we built the damn thing. So this was an easy operation. So morale's raising back up, which is great, because we're going to need it when that kicks off. Let's have a look in the rehab center. I haven't been in there in, in ages. So everyone's just going straight into center HQ. So if I wanted to buy some more bits with the orders, we're about to get like the best part of 16. Sir, patient is cured. So I am going to order a stack of food. Where's the food rations? There we go. I'm going to spend all of that. And we can hopefully ignore Sir, food for good. a little bit. And we'll get my engineers Sir, back on this. If I can assign two engineers to building the advanced casualty thing. Um, well, I don't think I can. I'm going to need the medicine here. But we're going to try. Can you not swap a doc to a trauma unit? Sadly not. No. It's just the... It's just the option. I, cho I chose to uh, recruit a uh, trauma specialist rather than a physician early on. We could have gone either way. At the time, it seemed like trauma was the way to go because they took a lot longer to treat. Maybe with hindsight, Sir, patient is cured. would have been wise to do the other way, but we didn't know what was coming, Sir, so... we lost this patient. Someone's died. That's a shame. Come on, it's nearly done. It's nearly done. And... Sir, operation was... Right. The garage has been constructed. So... Straight to improvements, because I think we can probably afford some new stuff. So that was to give me... Allows ambulances to transport the wounded. So I'm, I'm hoping that's going to help. 
This is the trauma ward. Oh, I'm glad I didn't use that. Holy crap. If I'd improved that, we'd have got better success chances, but we'd, been use we'd be using a lot more meds. So that was lucky I didn't go for it. And this is the breathing enhancing machine. Oh, what would this do? The low pressure gas tanks. But this looks like this might be um, something important coming soon. What's the end of that one? Decreases operation difficulty. There is the tuberculosis vaccination. The triple shift system. We can't go down those yet, but we've got work going on there. So we've also got the casualty clearing station. That would be a good one to improve. It just decreases the speed of the patient condition by 10%. And that one's another 10%, but in two things. So that's a good one to get. And that's patient rehab, which we can afford not to touch at the moment. So I'm going to go with... I don't want the emergency measures. I'm going to go with this one. It's quick. And that... Um, Come on, on the staff lodging. Out you get again. Come on, guys. Sign. It'll be a while before that gets fixed. Your survival ratio is great. Maybe it wouldn't be if you didn't have the trauma guy. Don't kick yourself. Is that good? Because we're, we're not... It's a bit less than two-thirds are surviving. So I don't know if that's good. I've got nothing to judge it against, though, so... Can we just pick the improvement that reduces ration consumption? Yes, that would be a nice one. So I've spent a load on rations. Sir, patient is cured. We've got some emergency supplies in. This is going to kick me in the ass any minute now. Because I'm going to put all the engineers Sir, on production. Was successful. Sir, new patient arrived. It's about to kick off big time here. Everyone's going out. I think the upgrades are about to stop. Three doctors are awaiting... Oops, I'm in the wrong thing here. Yeah, I, if only... If only I could, like... Assign them to this, but... Oh, God, I thought that was my nurse then. It might be my nurse. This, this one is serious. These are all serious. Right. How many is going to survive if I do this? This was a terrible mistake, wasn't it? But I can possibly do this? Those are still good, so that's okay. Right, it's less than an hour. He's not going to get exhausted from this. You can't assign over six patients to one doctor. They're not about to go critical. So let me see... All this thing is going to do is cost us a load of materials. Tourniquet construction was finished. Perfect, right. Let's get into this. Um, engineers. I'm going to put you on there by yourself. <laughs> so from there, we're going to go... We're going 24-hour shifts... And we're just going to solidly work on these. And that's all we can do. We're doing 1.6 per hour, which is not going to keep pace with the demand. I can order some more. To be quite honest. Can we do this? We're out of alcohol. Uh, let's put them in there. Oh, we've only got one spot for there. Right, 24-hour shifts then. And there's trauma meds, which we're currently okay for so i'm going to keep one guy in reserve okay let's see if we can do this i'm going to make an emergency order no i'm not this could be the spanish flu it could be it could be tb as well I'm regretting agreeing to look at those Death. civilians Engineers now. The, the 
game definitely is made to challenge me. There's no doubt about that. The patient is suffering from dysphosgene intoxication. He's experiencing severe respiratory issues, including pulmonary emphysema. There's little we can do for him without the use of advanced procedures. Oh, I can't do that. That's, sadly, I can't do that. And we don't have the pressure tanks. Okay, let's, let's do that one. Um, I was going to go here and order just a few more. It's going to use all my orders up, but it's it's so expensive doing this. Let's see, who else can we throw out? Right, everyone's waiting there, so that bit's okay. The food side is going to be okay. These bits we'll manage with... The scouts are coming back with a load of orders, which we will need. And at the casualty clearing station, someone is exhausted. Jeez, that's, that's, I, I. The flipping cemetery isn't on the screen, so you don't see it. Um, right, we're going to put someone into there. And you are actually fine at the moment so just keep on going like that so these are these are bad being as tired as that um i guess you can work on a 12 hour shift until the fight comes i want to try and get people rested up for the fight which is going to about 5 minutes time sir medics are on the way yeah that's that's not good at all Three doctors are awaiting new assignments. Oh, well, we've got one regular. So we can definitely treat one. Uh, it's not suggesting that anyone's going to die from this. So these will go rushing through fast. It's just a, a shame that they are so expensive. To tr oh, we're still at six, aren't we? Poor bastards so exhausted. They feel like shoveling their own graves. They probably dug one and jumped inside to have Sir, a quick sleep. Defensive positions. Germans are launching an attack. Here we go again. This might be the bit that finishes me off. I mean, the scouts are going to do a good job when they come back with the ten orders. That is going to be useful. That's uh, that's a load of medication I can order. don't think at this point I can afford to build any more upgrades. I'm going to need the engineers on full production. It's a shame we haven't got gas masks really, isn't it? So we're going to fight those guys off, which is excellent. Sir, we have wounded soldier. Tunnel is almost finished. We will strike very soon. Excellent. I hope that makes a massive difference. So let's see what the casualty situation is here. A 25 wounded. That's quite a lot. Over to the medics. Right, you guys are our grave diggers. Um, 24 hours over here. We we this this is bad. Uh, I'm going to have to 24 hour shift here. We need three teams in there, and I need to. I mean, what do we care about waiting burial, really? We need to get people in. I'm hoping that we have Sir, these ambulances now that are right. going to start recovering things faster. We do, look. Ah, cool. We have one ambulance. And let's hope that works a bit quicker. High spirit, excellent morale and shorter rehab. There is literally nothing that we can we can do now. We're out of alcohol. The scout thing doesn't seem to be doing a, a, a damn thing. They're busy. This depot. Hey, it must be doing something, look. Because this has gone down. I'll click on fetch truck and I'll see what happens. So, I think that's... Maybe it is delivering? And we just don't see it? I just don't know how that works. Hi, Gimgork. You think I've got a really good ratio of dead to... I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I hope I hope you're right. I feel like other people have probably played this and done a lot better. Um, excellent. So there's one guy. Can't remember his name. Logan Mills. He likes working here. He, he would prefer to work here, which is good. I'm not getting anything in there, but anyway. And he can go work on this. This is going to be all hands to the pumps until this, Sir, on the way. this clears. There was something I was going to go and click on. Ah, oh, the pharmacy. That was the engineers, which is why I, I did go over there. Um, no one is looking too exhausted. She prefer to work in the operation. Right, okay. Yeah, you can go in as a spare. You can go in here now. Sorry, you would like to go in here now, wouldn't you? The second shift in a 12-hour system. We can switch that over. So she's now happy. She's now working the first shift. She's just happy because she's in there. She would like to work on an eight-hour shift system. You can go to casualty clearing. And I think she would prefer not to work in the operating ward, and she doesn't care. Brilliant. So these are all every 24 hours, I think. They give us some morale. So everyone is set up there quite happily. Oh, she's going to get exhausted real quick, isn't she? She is working till eight o'clock. Yeah, that's not going to work there. I'll change it when I when I have to. So who's exhausted in here? Uh, this is the one we need, so I'm going to switch you out. Um, that's a long time. I'm going to put you in for the time being. Seems like engineers are one of the, the key classes here for like, it's such an important role yeah. making the stuff. Leonidas, you'd only worry about burials if the weather is warm, otherwise just get the bodies out of sight. They're in a morgue at the moment, but I don't know if the morgue's got a maximum capacity. Have we got, we've got soldiers coming in at the bottom here, or in the middle. This is a long operation, isn't it? I'm fairly certain that uh, we're not going to get this scene to. It's less than an hour. It might be a quick in, stick your tongue out, say ah, right, out again, we can't do anything for you. It might be. I don't know. We'll see. But I I can't do anything to get these points, which is really yeah, annoying me. Oh, hang on. Hang on, here's might be a possibility. Right. We've noticed that about an allied reconnaissance group nearby. Here we go. This is the opportunity. HQ wants to provide us with a basic health checkup. Nothing a nurse couldn't do. Yes, do it. We only get two. We'll send a nurse. We will send the one who's resting that nobody likes. A sign. Yeah, nurses are on the way. Brilliant. That's why we need the spare nurse. You're not too fond of the scout tent either. Um, hmm. It, it could do. A, it could be a bit better, I think. It could work a little bit better, the scout tent. Ah, Bartos, welcome back. Welcome back. You, can you maybe answer me something? You might know. Um, I've assigned, I've got this depot. This is in Chapter 2. It's a, a monastery. It's providing me supposedly 10 alcohol as income. I've assigned a truck to it. I don't really know what it does. I don't know if it's adding to my stockpile at the hospital by itself from there. Or if I have to come and click fetch truck. I've tried doing that. This never seems to make any difference. This has changed. It's been at 10 for hours and hours and hours. And I look back in now and it's gone down to 9. I just don't know. And I never really see any messages and nothing seems to re respond. So if you know anything about that or whether I need to do anything differently, um, shout up because I'd be all ears. I could Sir, use the alcohol. I inform you that I left a personal recommendation... Okay, so we've got a VIP come in. Uh, this is one we can treat. This is Howard Berger. No service history. Okay, who is this then? He is from Belgium. A stray American soldier from Belgium appeared in our hospital. 
He claims to be a major of some kind of the Special Forces of the United States Army. His uniform seems to confirm his words, but he has no documents or dog tags. According to him, his squad came under heavy artillery fire around three kilometers west, and he's the only member of his squad that survived. He appears to have deep trauma and guilt relating to the events as he was unwilling to talk about them at first. This is an exhausting operation for 15 hours. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't know anything about it. I don't believe he's American Special Forces. But he's a VIP. Um, we can put that in. He'll be exhausted afterwards. We'll put a set rest on there. But we can take that. Oh, you already talked about the, the truck and the scout thing in chat. Uh, you weren't the one who's testing it. Ah, okay. No worries. It's half past six. I've done my four hours. But I want to do a bit longer and see how this goes on because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> We're streaming again tomorrow, by the way, folks. So I'll be live again at 2.30 uh, UK time tomorrow. On YouTube, I schedule the streams on Twitch. Yeah, there's a schedule on Twitch as well now. So you can see, uh, you, can, you can watch whichever platform you prefer. Sir, may I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with one of the Oh, did you? You're recommending people as well now. Please be this one. We can deal with these ones. This is Carl Camara. Not Chris Camara then. He's from East Suffolk. So we've got partial information about him. He's a German scientist who surrendered himself to the British forces and was wounded during capture. During initial checkup, it was revealed that he possesses deep knowledge about chemicals, medicine and treatment methods. Pressed about this matter, he revealed himself to be a German doctor and scientist who worked on the development of new military gases and new treatment methods for chemical injuries. Okay, well, we can, we can certainly fix him up. Is a prisoner, Carl Camara, that was brought to your facility is considered a low priority case. As his wounds are extensive, HQ does not expect an easy operation and, although we are hoping for the best, will not enforce any penalties in the likely event of his death. I think they want him to die by the sound of that. However, um, we have no one actually... Sir, if I may, I think I will be able to convince Mr. Kamara to work in the hospital as a doctor. Oh, and he'd be a physician. He's got... Right, this is, this is where we get fixed. Because he's worked with gases and stuff. So that's, that's excellent. Why is everyone exhausted? There's an exhausted nurse. Uh, we're going to have to lose the happiness and just switch those over so she can rest for a bit. Until this one comes back. Which is fine. Morale's okay at the moment. The medics are okay. The engineers. We've got an, an exhausted engineer. That's okay. We just switch this guy out. Uh, we're not producing food. That's fine. We can live without that at the moment. And this is a very slow upgrade going on. But that's that's fine. My next free unit. Yeah, trauma doc. He's got to be, right? The game gives you curveballs but makes up with it. The thing yeah, is, though, will he, will he be recruitable in time? <laughs> to work through this. We've got a load of critical people. It just says critical. It, it Oh, these are going to go through fairly fast. Right. So at this point, we've got a stable VIP. I didn't see him come in. Matthew Baker. French. Joined the military to fight in the Second Boer War. I have the pleasure to inform you that Sergeant Matthew Baker will be promoted to Sergeant Major immediately after his return to active duty. As such, I would like to suggest the quick handling of his case, as there is a need for such brave and gallant men on the front lines. I would also warn you that HQ will not take his potential loss or inability to return to active duty lightly. Right, well, it would be a shame to lose him. However, these are going through fast. And I'm going to order some more. I'm going to go to the train station and order more. Because we don't need the orders for the moment. I am literally living hand to mouth with these at the moment. The drafts. We don't need the drafts at the moment. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Good. Uh, we are 
There's nothing about another battle coming. Um, I'm going to hold these off. What's the j what's the job? Survive until six a.m. on the twenty third of August. There's going to be another battle coming, isn't there? There is absolutely going to be another battle. I'm going to hold off though until they are all full, and we'll see if we see it on the map, and then we can decide whether we want to release them or not. New patient arrived. Right, I think we should be treating these guys and getting them through fairly fast. There's another critical one just turned up. Oh, we can't. Can we put them in? We can't. I could take... I'm going to take him out. And put her in there. Oh, okay. They're not going to live that long. Is that somebody else? Can't help you, sorry. Uh, my VIP. will live to there... For sure. He's on the list. He's definitely on the list. We'll switch those around. Um, I will put the rest here. But we might bump him back a little bit. Because we're going to try and get... Oh, we've got the critical ones out. There's just a couple of... Currently stable. If we get um, this guy out, we might be able to turn this around. It's just going to be the cost of materials that we have a problem with. But there seems to be fewer people coming in with bullet wounds than there, there is with everything else now. Sir, new patient arrived. We're doing our best, uh, Gim Gork. We're going to try and save everybody. This is a serious one, but at the same time, we're going to try and save them. Whoops. Sir, new patient mm. is cured. Pause. Pause. We and save because we've got something to choose here. Uh, let's have actually. Let's just have a quick look how we're doing. I haven't seen this medic station, this uh, ambulance doing anything. There's 34 wounded in the trenches. It's so slow getting them out of the trenches. We should see if this does anything. And we don't need to assign that, do we? The ambulance thing just does its own thing, right? I mean, I hope it does. 49 wounded outside. But where? Oh, they're filling up the flipping treatment station as well, aren't they? Oh, okay, that's not good. Anyway, what I wanted to go and look at was this. We're going to take a big morale hit, but there's this. Right, the tunnel is closing in on the enemy trenches, but Pravin is sure that the Germans have anti-tunneling countermeasures. You're wise to take a cautious approach, digging slower but without so much risk of detection, but Angus prefers to take a quicker route to finish the tunnel as quickly as possible. Prepare a distraction, and then dig as fast as you can. Promise to send soldiers worth 10 combat power in the next 10 hours. Donation will be Detonation will be more effective. Oh, that might be a good idea. We might be able to afford that as well. Worth 10 combat power. I think we can do that. Tunnel workers will be safer if anything goes wrong. There'll be a slight decrease in the tunnel digging speed. Hmm. Go on then. Let's do that. We're going to do that. How long do we have to do that for? In Oh, we've got 10 hours. Oh, I, mm, I maybe haven't... We've got 10 hours. And the plus three is going to take 11 hours to rehab. All right, who's coming from this side? All right, there's four. We're on five. We're on five so far. So it depends on the speed of the rehab that's coming out. I may have made a terrible miscalculation here. Should have looked at that first. Arrived. It all depends on... He's good. He can go straight in. You know, screw that. I'm loading that choice back in. I should have looked. I should have looked at that. We're going for the cautious approach because I don't think we're going to get 10 combat powers worth of soldiers out. The VIP is getting bad faster. We might have to push him to the front.
That has uh, that's massively broken things. I can't click on that. Oh god. We may have just lost half an hour of game progress here. Uh, that's 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 broken. Return to main menu. Let's let's quit. Okay, let's get out and try and load that back in again. Something didn't go quite right there. Let's see where we get to. I think. I think it'll be fine once we load it back in, but if that's a broken save game, we might be going back one. Right, let's load the game. It just got stuck on that screen, didn't it? So, I'm going to say it's going to be fine. Yes, we knew it. So we go back and we make that decision. I'll do it from, the, can we do it from this one? No. We're going to go for a cautious approach because I don't think we can get that many people out of rehab quick enough. Sir, if I had a big stack, secured. that would be different, but... Uh... Never mind. It is what it is. We'll go with a cautious approach. Right, let's speed that up. At least it's working now. The VIP is getting bad fast. Let's have a look at the VIP. There's this guy, you can go straight in there. Um, he will be getting bad fast. What? What? Do you know what? The VIP gets priority. Uh, I'm not sure why he's why we're operating on him. I really don't know why we're operating on him. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, but anyway, we are. Look at the cemetery. Yeah. New patient arrived. That's a good point. The cemetery might be really, really bad. Awaiting burial seven. That's not too bad. That's not. That's nothing. No, we can. We can. We can work on that. We've left one half Operation buried. It's just like an arm sticking out. So this one. The patient has severe burns, but it seems his body has already started to heal. Excellent. I like a little bit of good news every now and again. And there's a pharmacy guy. Exhausted. I'm out of medicines. I think if the VIP is going next, he'll get that. It's, uh, we'll, we'll take a look. We're, we're producing some anyway. Having said that, let's take a look at what we are actually requiring there. So the trauma is, is fine for now. This one is getting a little bit, um, a little bit close to call. And in the chemical ward, it's, it's okay. We, we're going to have enough for him. I think. I'm going to order some more, though. Sir, new patient. This is all we're doing with these at the moment, so that's an extra 10. We're just not producing enough. And the reason we're not producing enough is that we can't get enough alcohol. So maybe if I got the alcohol instead, I don't know, maybe it would have been better. The pharmacy. It's okay. People are people are dying. We're losing them. Sir, we lost I'm not, this patient. I'm not seeing this. There are 13 patients in CCS. There's still 30 in the trenches. It's amazing. I'm sure there's only 27 it said to start with. Uh, let's have a look. So resting. Come out of rest and go and treat the VIP. Okay, this is this is fine. We can we can afford this. Um, we're now starting to run low yeah, on those. Doctor is starting a new shift. This is mentally tough. 
we're trying to produce as much. We're doing two per hour of these running 24 hour shifts. I can't do much more. Not unless they're going to give me some more staff. Oof. That used them all for the VIP. That's okay. The train's bringing some more. And they arrive just in the nick of time. This is how wars are lost. Run out of alcohol. Where's that German VIP? He's not in there. Oh, he's on release from duty. It's gone straight in. In 11 hours. So I don't have the option to do it. So um, he's gone straight in there. Uh, let's have a look. So send to the trenches. Right, we've got a fight coming in. So the threes. Oh, that's gone straight to green. That's a really good sign. The ones go in there. Just, we're going to try and get some more orders. We're keeping the, the medicines coming in. Right, so the pharmacy is exhausted. Switch them round. We just got to keep them. We we just got to do this. There's no other way we can we can sit back. Oh my god, this is really bad. Right, um, extremely exhausted and exhausted. We're gonna have to bring you back from here. Uh, just one. Just one back. So I want the, the advanced dressing station working at full capacity. Hey, we have a nurse leveled up. Right, let's hope this is something good. So this is Eva Deke. So she speeds up operations. She works better when working with others. Others working with them tire less. Morale slightly increases when they work. Work significantly better. Morale slightly increases when they work. Oh. Hmm. Tires slower when working solo, but does it count solo when there's nobody else on your shift? This is what I would like to know. Oh, hey, Maygard and Alwyn and Sir Clamhammer. Welcome, folks. Uh, Sir Clamhammer. Hey, Mark. I've watched your YouTube videos for over three years now. You've made me the man I am today on Hearts of Iron 4. Finally made it by your stream for the first time to say thanks. You are welcome. And I hope you're enjoying the series over there at the moment. Uh, my current playthrough is let me drop a link to those who uh, don't know i've got a let's play channel which is a playthroughs of all sorts of games some of which i've been streaming uh and some which i haven't there it should drop that in twitch and i would like to see no it's not going to work for youtube so i'll just copy that over uh yeah i am currently playing through hearts of iron 4 czechoslovakia it's a world war ii strategy game if no one else has uh, has come across that it's it's complicated it's a great game though uh, but you can follow all sorts of playthroughs there uh, but yeah, it's good fun, isn't it? It's good fun. I like it. Evening, Halloween. You think you need to fetch up the trucks once they've filled up? I don't know what to do with those. We'll, we'll have another look. And Maygard, hello. Now that you've restarted the game, try and see if the supply truck will work now, maybe. Ah, good point. Very good point. So we shall choose one of these. I don't know if her working a shift by herself counts as working solo. That's, that's one of the things I'm not uh, confident about. Where's my chat window gone really weird over there? It's gone very strange. Let me put it back where I can see it. Strange. Okay. Um, hmm. Just works significantly better. Morale increases when they work. I'm going to go ambitious, because it sounds good. I have no idea what Sir, benefits the way. it brings, but I'm going to go with it. Oh, well, this is the scouts, but... Returning to headquarters, the scout commander goes directly to the officer he spoke with last time. He presents his findings and urges the officer to send at least three platoons to deal with the camp as soon as possible, while the Germans are not dug in yet. The officer appeared to agree with the commander's opinion. He thanks the scouts for their intel and goes to prepare a plan of attack. So we get 10 orders which is really useful because uh, I'm going to spend some of them right now ordering how much is alcohol? You get 10 alcohol for one order. So if I was to spend three orders, I would get 30, which I think I can make more of that with. Just maybe not as fast as I need it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a mix and do that. 
Right, let's see. Alloween, thank you much. For, thank you very much for 22 months of subs on Twitch. That's awesome. Thank you. Right, let's take a look at this. So now that we've reloaded, the scout truck... Do you know what? It's moved. So maybe it is delivering stuff to the hospital. Because it was in the middle of the river pointing this way before. And now it's still in the river, but on the right bank, pointing back to the hospital. So... Oh my god, now that works, that we've reloaded. So do you think that just... That it was just bugged out before? Right, so I need to send the truck out there often. And we need to remember to come back. So is it worth the hassle for the 10 alcohol? Uh, let's have a look. Provide additional supplies. Patient appears to have some complications from influenza. A fall in morale... I'm going to go with that. We, we can just afford this. We're hanging on with this one. But only just. So I need this operation to go through. And then I'm going to start queuing up the serious people behind it. They're not even going to live for that. Actually. Okay, so we can, we can get them through. Um, and then we're going to put... Because these are very quick decisions. They won't survive. Uh, who is this? This is... You sh you're supposed to be in front there. Yeah, they're deteriorating bad, but they are... Oh, God, there's more civilians. It's brutal, isn't it? Absolutely sodding brutal. I think it's a Spanish flu. <laughs> the truck was bugged down in the mud. I like that. I like what you did there. <laughs> yeah, I need that VIP doc. He is currently... Nearly 10 hours away from coming out of that. Oh, the option to send a doc and a nurse over to headquarters is gone. So that that has been removed. Uh, okay, let's... It's time moving on. I've never seen this thing move once. There's one deceased. There's nothing I can do there. Oh, I can change this now. So let's get um, someone else into there and somebody else into there. Sir, we'll try and keep an eye on that. On I don't know. The, the ambulance... Am I supposed to do something with that? I can't... Uh, I can't click on it. If I click on that... Click on the improvements. No, it just goes to this. Trains, warehouse, cemetery, canteen. There's nothing about assigning trucks anywhere or ambulances. Whether it's just making them move faster, I, I don't Sir, know. But operation was successful. It doesn't, that doesn't seem to be working from what I can tell. Might be wrong. Trench foot and mouth. <laughs> Is Hemingway driving one of those ambulances? The one that's parked up and not moving, maybe. Uh, nurses are currently okay. Engineers are exhausted, so we'll switch them out. I kind of like the fact that when you get the, the huge influx of casualties, it's like normal operating hours are off and everyone is on 24-hour shifts because it's just like yeah, an influx of emergency way. cases. Oh, we've got some good news for once. Uh, shorter rehab by a lot, but saving on resources, yeah. So we're only going to close close the wounds up there. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. And we've got to start building this back up to blue. There's a plus two. I'll put a plus two in. And the operating ward has a tired nurse, I think. Yeah, and she's a good one. It's a shame. Oh, okay. Well, someone's going to be in on a 24-hour shift for a while, then. Unless I switch them... Oh, I could switch them round. So she's on... the resting one, which makes her happier. And she's on the working one. So she might be able to get... She comes back on at... 10 o'clock. In two hours. Uh, 
I'll switch the shifts again. I'll leave her in there. I'll just switch the shift again. Someone else? Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, I've put her back on. I've put her in the wrong way, haven't I? It should be that way around. Hmm. It's annoying me that there's nothing I can do with that ambulance. Unless... There's nothing you can click on here, is there? No. The medics are doing the job. As far as I can tell, they're doing the job. So, our initial diagnosis was wrong. The wound was cleaned. And it's fine. So, nice. Shorter operation. So, we're nearly finished on this guy. Dead. And dead. There we go. Fixed it. Uh, so these, uh, they're losing condition, like, rapidly. So we'll try and put some of these in to fix, because we can get them shifted through. And I, I can't help thinking that there's going to be some benefit for trying to save as many civilians as possible. Which is just a guess. Seems a patient's body fought off the infection. We'll save the, the materials. It's worth hanging out for those at the moment. So we've got to go another six days yet. Oh, engineer at the pharmacy. Um, an engineer at the engineering... Okay, this is not good. This does look a little better, so we can put you on rest and swap you in there. And that is that other one slowly improving. Sir, engineer is on the way. Nine patients in CCS. This just increases. Okay, we've got two in the trauma ward, uh, but that's okay. It's expensive, but that's that's okay. We're we're dealing with them. It's all these goddamn um, civilians coming in. That's the problem. And the casualty clearing station has an exhausted medic. Close to collapse. That's bad. I'm going to leave them on one. <laughs> oh, they're out in two hours, so that's that's good news. We'll just have to hang on there as best they can. Sir, I need that. Engineers reach the engineering depot. I need that upgrade that allows people to rest Sir, faster. Operation was successful. Perhaps you only have one truck at the moment. It's uh, away getting vodka. Does it say? It doesn't. Oh, the scouts are done. I should be sending these on a new mission. So let's preview the teams. The scouts have nothing on them, so I can send them anywhere I want. There's the love struck one. The counter esp. What's the counter espionage? Group of people are asking questions about the hospital and nearby front lines, showing an unusual interest in both su subjects. The scout team should be sent to investigate, find out if they are German spies or rumours of doom. An abandoned farm that could be checked out. The residents fled not long. That could be an easy one. I'm going to assign the team to that. Scout unit has started a new mission. If I'm lucky, that could be nice and easy. So the truck's got 15 hours to come back. It's going to bring 10 alcohol Sir, with it. Operation was successful. More patients. Ah, uh, this is this is just madness. How's he? Let's see, Matthew Barker or whatever he's called. He is ninety-seven percent through. So if that's successful, he's going into Sir, recovery. Operation was successful. He's not in there yet. He's going to have to wait for a Sir, medic to take him. Is cured. Well, hey, we got. What was that for? can't remember what that was for. We will hold on to that. I mean, I could instantly get a medic. Sir, operation or... was successful. Oh, do we have the engineers? If I hire personnel, so engineers we can have, right? I'm taking an engineer right now. Confirm order. 
Did the ambulance work? Well, there's one ambulance, right? I've seen two ambulances down here before, but the other ambulance seems to be, like, just parked up. And whether it's just there for graphics, I don't know, but that one never seems to drive out. They're all coming in. It's all this massive chemical attack. So we absolutely do need that other guy. Uh, we can put another one of these stable civilians in and clear these out a bit. Oh, he's resting. Um, I'll, get, I'll let him rest. Otherwise, it's going to be a, a mad swap around later. So let's see. The VIP. What did we want to do with him? I'd like to re a quick handling of his case as there is a need for brave and gallant men on the front lines. I think it's to put him on the front lines. That'll turn that to blue. We can spend the rest. So let's, let's do so. Two and a half hours, folks, and then we get ourselves a doctor. We think we get ourselves a doctor. Sir. Nine patients are waiting for a decision in the admission area. Yeah, but give me some proper patients. None of this nonsense. They know that I can't deal with this. Can you do that? Yeah, okay. You're going to deal with all of those in the next few hours. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. It's going to eat into this, but we are producing again. Sir, operation was successful. I don't know if this is going to give us an indication of when this, this truck is going to arrive back. If it takes 24 hours to get Sir, 10 alcohol, and pissing about with trucks is not Sir, worth the cost. Uh, let's see. Now, these guys are absolutely just beat. So let's bring them out. We've still got two waiting. I'm going to put one in there and one in there. Now, one of these guys does not want to work here. That's okay. I'll leave him at that. Sir, medics are on the way. We have an exhausted pharmacy. Okay, people are rested up a little bit. The food, food's fine. We'll ignore the food for the time being. Does not have any preferences. None of these have preferences, so that's good. We'd prefer to work in the pharmacy. That's easy done then. Uh, and trauma medicine, there's not much coming in at the moment, so we are just about maintaining that. And plus we don't have enough alcohol to really, well we do. Right, I'm going to help you dig over there. Nine hours to get that upgraded. Clean up the wound, save time, use less materials. I like Sir, it. Is someone still exhausted in here? Oh, crap. Yeah, they are. Okay, you're in there then. Sir, medics are on the way. Two doctors are waiting for new assignments. Aha! We have... There we go. We have exactly what we needed. And... Uh, you're on a rest. You'll be extremely exhausted. That's That's bad. And you can go straight into there. I mean, these are like long shifts. 10 and 12 hour shifts here. All right, let's see what this is. We've got something. Probably bad news to click on, so let's go find out. Oh no, this, this is our... This is our... It is perfect. Hospital saved my life, and as I have little hope to use my talents now in another way, I want to offer my services as a physician. Accept the offer. Sir? Was oh, beautiful. Right. Okay. Should we give him... He's resting after that. So, we've got some serious... Okay, we don't want to use, lose soldiers here. So, uh, he's well rested. If I put these in first... That's fine. So, they can get through the two serious ones... Uh, there's a stable one there that needs to go in there. And it's it's kind of soldiers that we really need to 
make sure we're dealing with, but I'll come and check up on this in, in a little while and then uh, we're good to go. Sir, new patient oh, what's this? Mm, or the hypnosis treatment to restore mental stability, which is a longer operation. Or we just ignore it. Uh, it's still a longer operation. Patient is deeply traumatized and there's a high risk he'll commit suicide. We'll hypnotize him into believing he's absolutely fine. I'm sure that'll work. I'm sure it'll work. Who's who's tired? Let's add an engineer into there. Trauma medicine might be okay. You can rest up and replace whoever gets exhausted. Is it a nurse? Is it a medic? It's a medic. Okay. So these are waiting for the medic team, but there's, n there's none in the trenches. So that's looking a lot better. So where is... Uh, the team that like to go digging graves. You can get onto that one. But on the 12-hour shift, so they get to have a rest afterwards. They'll come on at 8. Yeah, that's fine. We can work with that. You can rest up and you can move over here. I don't think there's anything for them to do now. There are 18 waiting for the medic team, but I think they need to be here. Let me see. New patient arrived. So, just just pause that a second. On the way. So there's medics moving somewhere. It does say this. Oh, maybe these are deceased. But there's seven. That doesn't add up. I don't understand the mechanics, the numbers. They're just, I don't know. Anyway, the patient shows high spirit, with shorter rehab and more morale. Did he say the ambulance came out? It's gone out. <laughs> Has it done it by itself? I have no idea. I have no idea. Something's going on in the operating room. It must be a nurse. So, shall I switch these two around again? She's going to finish at 8 in the morning anyway. Yeah, just leave it like that and it's going to be fine. Oh, the nurse is back. The nurse that nobody likes. Let me put her in here. Do that and then do this again. It doesn't change, does it? I'll leave her as a spare. I'm going to see if she can recover it. Uh, shall I just take her out? It's three morale in 13 hours if I leave her in. I'm going to try and leave her in. Try and leave her there. Okay, so where are we looking? Let's have a look in here. Um, seems a shame to throw away the ones that are getting good combat experience. But at the same time, I need to order parts and I need... We're already at blue at the top, so there's, I don't see any point. And I need to build upgrades. And did we have... Did the new engineer arrive yet? He has. So food and materials are coming in. And this is ready in seven hours. So it is what it is. And then we can start building a new one. Tell you what, let's go and... Let's find a new improvement. So what does this lead on to? And should I just save everything? The triple shift system... Uh, 10 beds for casualty clearing. Actually, this is going to increase the beds in casualty clearing, so that's good. And that decreases the speed of patient... Oh, I should maybe save it. I've got 7 hours, though. Oh, this is... De decreases speed of... Right, I should have this. Let's definitely do that. It just keeps our patients going a bit longer. So now that that's finished... Or started, even... Uh, let's let's put them in there and get that done really quick because five hours that's that's going to make a difference to some of our patients I'm sure the ambulance is related to the CCS as they take patients from the city it's supposed to take them from that clearing station to the CCS uh, I'm not 100% certain that it is doing 
Oh, these have gone serious. Uh, let's have a look. She is currently stable. So let's switch them around like that. And there's someone here critical. Will they live? I didn't see anyone waiting, did you? Uh, let's have a look. I maybe should have been looking at this. Right, a serious one hour operation. Um, I think they'll go in fairly quick. We're just hanging yeah. on here. Medics are on the way. Is that not, is that new ones? No, okay. Oh, there's one in here though. Stable, 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 stable. It seems, oh, the strange farm. We've got food. So the farm was a rather mundane site, a rather mundane site. A couple of unintended vegetable fields, a tool shed, a large barn and a farmhouse in the middle. Nothing out the ordinary, but the stench was alarming. The smell of rotten death was om omnipresent, intensifying around the barn. A quick search revealed that the barn was full of farm animals, all of them dead and rotting. It seems this was done on purpose, considering that usually fleeing residents set their animals free. Further search of the house revealed nothing new. Empty rooms and closets, no clothes, personal items or anything of value. If the scouts didn't know that the residents had fled, they would have assumed that the house had been looted. Well, I will get Chef, about 10 food, good. which is really not very much. Uh, that The truck still hasn't got there. Do, do we see it? We do. We see it there on the map. Honestly, the scouts would be quicker going there. It's, it's terrible. So they are carrying 30 food with them. So it's not a lot. I could bring them back. Or I could do the... Oh, there's more. Unsettled by the findings on the abandoned farm, the scouts want to question people in the nearest Sir, area. That's quite quick. We'll go further. Sir, new patient arrived. And a strong-willed one for some shorter rehab. Right, let's see what we've got. Yeah, it's it's just this. Well, at least we've got two doctors working through this now, so this is this is good news for us. And we just have to see if we can do it. We're staying on top of this just. Just. Did the VIP need to go somewhere specific? He... Oh, hang on. Uh, let's, let's pause. He did... I'll sort this out first. An infected leg... So we'll spend and get the shorter rehab time. So he did need to go somewhere specific. Um, well, actually, it doesn't say. It gives me the choice. But it says in here, um, uh, brave and gallant men on the front line. So I'm thinking send to the trenches is the way to go. I'm not 100% sure. It needs to be more specific if it wants me to send it to HQ. But I think that's where it needs to go. And let's... Did we save? Can't remember. Did we save? We'll throw in a little save as well. And let's... Uh, let's go and see what this nurse has to offer. She's a kleptomaniac? She steals resources each day? That's awful. We can't have that. So she's strict. So she decreases morale... Over time, when not working. Oh, I mean, she's strict with herself. I think. She wants to be working all the time. But increases morale when working. So she likes 24-hour shifts. But she steals things? Oh, my God. So this would change exchange for the strict. Tires less at CCS. I think so, maybe. Let's put that in, because I don't like the strict one. Let's put that in there. And hey, what? Thank you very much for the prime sub. That's greatly appreciated. Cheers. Okay, so she's become a thief. But at least she's not upsetting people so much now. A couple of exhausted medic squads here. We can put, uh, we can put these guys in. So... There's wounded outside. We're trying to get them in as fast as possible. 31 wounded outside. Uh, 
We have an extremely exhausted nurse. Okay, I'm going to have to switch those around. They can't go the, the extra hours that I wanted to. And we have to hope that everyone else can manage. The nurses are more or less managing on that 12-hour system. It's not too bad. Sir, medics are on the way. <laughs> That's why she Sir, wants to keep working. CCS Sir, is over capacity. It is. It is over capacity, but we are working on that. You need a rest there. This guy's... Oh, we've got critical, critical and terminal. Can you fit in there? We can. And we have a good. So you can come back after the rest. Uh, it's quick one, though, so we can get them in. I don't want to put them into there if we don't have to. Because there's a lot of people from here going in there that we just can't get these guys in. This has become serious. Um... Yeah, I, I definitely want to get the soldiers in. The good thing is that these are very quick to, to get out again. I can probably fit you in there and move the rest to there. You need to turn around there. They're only like hour long operations. I think we can do that. Okay, let's, let's go with that. Successful. I've got six of these orders. Drafts, even. Sir, nurses reached the hospital. Um, we can. Oh, I need trauma meds. Sir, medics are on the way. Okay, order resources, but I'm going to do the alcohol again. Twenty. And keep the rest. Um, and then. Oh God, the pharmacy. Sir, it's all going wrong. An easy operation. And a longer rehab. Oh, hypnosis treatment. Yeah, it's lower chances for wound to not heal. You can have, you can have that. That's that's fine. Who's exhausted in the pharmacy? Don't have a spare for this. Hmm. Okay, well, we still need them, so you're going to have to come over and fill in. Four hours on whatever that is. That's the 10% um, reduction of New condition, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> there's 13 on the chemical ward. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. They're just, they're just going. I'm tempted to, like, say... To hell with this. We've got to get the critical guy in. The, the way they lose condition, I, I need a bit of breathing space. So we're going to take some morale hits soon. Sir, lost this patient. Someone died during Sir, operation. New patient arrived. A bit of a shame. Good God. They're like one in, one out so fast. And it's, it's all in these. Uh, the stable ones, I think. No, that one definitely needs to go through. Let's put this down here. Don't know. Uh, whoops. Don't know what to do. Actually, they're in good condition. I'm going to try. And get these quickly cleared. But I do need to work on these first. Actually, do the civilians go over to this afterwards? I don't think they do, because I've not seen any in there. Sir, patient is cured. Died after being denied. That's okay. We expected that. We thoroughly expected that. I can do with some more trauma meds. Sir, the civilians could work after being arrived. treated, but the option isn't there. Be nice if they could work, even if they're just burying um, uh, bodies or something. Digging the grave, they could dig the graves. There would be someone amongst the civilian population used to hard physical labour in this era, wouldn't there? Quick switching those around. Right, that's good news. So this is good. Shorter rehab for the strong will. 
And decreased cost and shorter operation. Yes. Absolutely. And we've still got more. That's fine. We'll, we'll let this catch up a little bit. We'll maybe put her on the list so that there's someone there. And... I, I better get him on as well. We're going to possibly take some nasty... Oh, did I not set the rest? Oh, okay. He's, he's doing okay. Okay. They'll... Oh, no. There's two big long ones here, so it's not going to clear fast. Superficial damage. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. And someone's exhausted. Got to be a medic. Oh, God, they're nearly collapsing. So, and at the advanced dressing station. Well, they're clearly working still at the advanced dressing station. And the bodies are piling up here. That's okay. We'll get people rested. Sir, medics are on the way. Problem with putting them to work was most civilians near the front are women, children, and old device. people. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. Although the women of those days, that they, they were used to hard work. There's like, uh, Sir, the there's way. a lot of myth about uh, oh they they just tended the house, which Sir, was hard work in itself uh, back then. But um, a lot of a lot of the villages, a lot of the civilian population would would live a rural lifestyle, so there'd be a lot of there would be a lot of hard work involved. So the women were no. Uh, we're no strangers to hard work, but again, digging graves, <laughs> I don't know that we could force them into that. The small village appeared to be empty. No villagers, no animals. This unsettled the commander even more than the barn at the farm. Search of the village revealed that there were multiple houses that appeared to have been left by the villagers. There were no clothes or personal items inside, only the chaotic aftermath of packing in a hurry and leaving the area. One of the houses, however, was shuttered and barricaded from the outside. The scouts dared not enter it, but bodies could be seen lying inside. Don't go in. Look for traces of villagers. It could be a plague house, for all we know. A quick search revealed multiple tracks of people and two to three carts that left the village using a side road leading southeast. Investigation of the tracks showed that around 20 to 30 people left in a hurry. They seemed to have taken some livestock with them as the scouts found traces of feathers. Understood. So... I'm guessing still two hours on that that is a lot of work you should be able to automate that I think that that assigning a truck to that should be automated as soon as this fills up the truck comes back end of done uh, let's have a look at the teams then so the rumors of doom uh, let's have a look. We are following tracks. Sir, Three hours. Have started a new mission. Sir, okay. Medics reach the advanced dressing station. Oh, the pharmacy's bollocks again. And they're exhausted. Well, luckily I've got someone else in that I can just switch over. Engineers. Ah, oh, this is not so simple. Sadly. You've got to come out, and we'll just leave the other guys working in a 24-hour shift. So we're still producing some. We're ticking over, just ticking over with that. That's nearly finished, so that's looking good. We have a stock of alcohol. The food is okay. We're doing all right. We're doing just all right. 20% drop in morale. Yeah, we're losing people at this place. Partly because it's full, I think. Right, we've got people waiting outside. They are... Nothing I do can save them. So... However, we can. Resting tired. Uh, you're rested, so you can get the critical one. Uh, the others are stable. He's resting for 10 hours. Okay, so... Once you've rested... If I put the rest there... That's four hours. Or six hours on that one. Two hours, two hours. I'll put 
put you in there. And I'll put you in there. Ooh, where did that... Did you see that? He's dead there if I leave him. So, in eight hours he's done. And okay, we're on top of that one, so that's okay. You'll be exhausted. They're already exhausted? We'll put the rest. This is this is okay, because we have time to, to fix the shortage here. It's only three. Um, the stable people are fine. Operating. Good, that's okay. We'll leave that. 10 hour nap sounds beautiful. It's a long time, isn't it? Don't you have enough medic to, to, to make eight hour shifts? I think they've become tired faster. I can't make eight hour shifts Death, because, I'll show you why, um, F3011. It is because the eight hour shift thing is unlocked by the triple shift system down here. And to get that, once we've upgraded the casualty clearer station, we can actually get that. And then we can do a 12 hour, an eight hour shift, but what that does, if I'm not mistaken, it has one team working for eight hours, the other team's on rest. Um, and the issue with that is that I want them all working all at once when there's like so much stuff coming in. Because I think one team can't handle transporting people all over the place. Uh, I, I think that's how it works, but uh, I, can't, I can't do the shifts now anyway. Um, unless someone comes out of a rest here, no, the terminal people are terminal. So the critical one is... Right, another dead civilian. We can't afford to be losing soldiers. Another dead civilian. If I... S he's dead there, but if I put him in there, he's still dead. What if I put him in there? Then he's dead. <laughs> okay, so... Unfortunately, we're just going to have to assign one away. We're keeping them alive at the moment. The seriously injured soldier. How, how bad is this? That's, that's the deal we have to make. So... Um, we'll put, oh, those are complicated and long ones, aren't they? Right, we're going to have to deny that. We're just going to be brutal from the start there. And then um, we will put some of these on. Dead, dead. That helps. <laughs> huh. Can we keep these alive? We can if we do it like that. So we'll go like that, and we'll do that. We need to keep the soldiers alive more than civilians. So we're, we're through the list there. You are currently stable, so you can go there, and we'll work on that. It's brutal stuff. Oh, we've got some bad news here. Suffering from nitrogen poisoning. If we don't treat it now, it will lead to severe uremia. How the hell has he picked up nitrogen poisoning? So a quick detox procedure using the medical drip. It's two of these, but it's okay. We, we have to do it. Right, who's in here? So at this point, let's throw everyone out. Because we're gonna, I think we're going to have to order some stuff, aren't we? Sir, patient um, is cured. We have a lot of drafts. Sir, patient is cured. Although the, the upgrades we're up to now are big, Sir, expensive ones. So arrive. We'll see what we're short of when this kicks in. Serious, serious, serious. Okay. Put them in there. There's a stable one. Who goes in front of the good one. And then a good one goes at the back there. Everyone lives, so we're all happy. They're on good. That's fine. Hopefully they won't deteriorate too fast. If we can get through some of these, it'll be nice. We've nearly finished the upgrade, so actually that's going to help because that's going to extend the yeah. 
period before they deteriorate. So that might amazingly mean people who are currently in the um, dungeon can come back out. Ooh, don't clean up the wound. Yeah, save those points. Right, the tracks. Back to the scouts. Don't forget to upgrade the warehouse. Yes, that's something we can do if we can get the, uh, the parts for it. The tracks guided the scout team to a clearing in the woods where they found a refugee camp. About 30 people in makeshift tents. The refugees looked half starved and scared. The scouts questioned the refugees. They were wary at first, but eventually revealed that they had left the village after an outbreak of a strange disease began there. Yeah, I thought that might have been a plague house. They did not know what the disease was, just that all the ill had started acting aggressively after being infected, and some had even tried to bite others. It sounds like rabies. Ha ha ha, I just saw the top option, take the refugees to the hospital. Screw that. Uh, let's see, scared, uh, scared, villagers decided to barricade the sick in, but the disease spread nonetheless. It was only after they had fled the village that there were no new cases. When questioned about the events just before the start of the outbreak, the village chief recalled only a strange man in an old-fashioned wide-brimmed hat that had passed through the village just days before the outbreak. So, we leave 20 food. It's good for morale. I'm not taking in... I mean, the hospital is a death sentence at the moment for civilians, so leave them some food and gain morale. I can afford the food easily. The scout commander offers the refugees some supplies. He knows that there is not much more he can do for them. The village chief is surprised at first, but accepts the, accepts the gift. Any help is appreciated, good sir. The village chief thanks, but the commander knows that this is only a drop in the bucket for these people. Understood. Okay, what do we do with the scouts now? It's still on rumours of doom. We decided to notify HQ about the outbreak of a strange disease in the villages east of the hospital. Sir, 12 hours. Started a new mission. Right, this thing. <laughs> the truck still hasn't caught back. It's just trolling me now. An ETA of naught minutes. Uh, there was something else I wanted to have a look at. We have orders. Sir, new patient arrived. We can order the food, can't we? We can definitely order the food because we can afford that with with uh, the order. So we'll we'll do that. We'll try and keep it around um, seventy to hundred. Alcohol numbers are good. I'm guessing. Okay, that's looking really good. Did we order some more, or did that truck just drop a load off? And trauma medical supplies. I I feel like we should maybe. No, that's fine. Let's let's order that. And let's nip in here. Uh, this is going to be the t serious thing. So, terminal. I don't think I'll be able to help here. It's slightly complicated. I've got to go in there. It's working as... Oh, he's dead. Oh, it's a she, sorry. It still keeps everyone alive, amazingly. This is a soldier here. Well, the problem is, there's nothing I can do with that one. Uh, it was a, it was a civilian, yeah. Um, it's just still the time. Okay, we're going to get these two treated because they're soldiers and we can get them into recovery. Uh, he's trying to deal with these. That is a critical one, but uh, it's it, it adds up. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm not sure. Right, let's, let's just take a look at the situation. Hang on. There's a few situations developing here. We've got spare engineers, which is brilliant we want to get someone working on that so and that that could really do with that improvement uh, we also want the trauma medicine would prefer to work in the pharmacy oh okay let's 
put him in there then. As things start to recover at last. Uh, let's go for an improvement. So we still haven't got that. This is the rehab center. We can spend a load of points to increase the speed of patient rehab, which I don't feel like it's been a massive issue so far. Emergency measures, the breathing machine, and there's the warehouse, isn't there? So is this the, this is the warehouse. That's a 52 hour upgrade right there. That is a damned expensive one. Increases number of available trucks by one. But if I can't use them as ambulances, that's not worth it. Unless it could fill up, it's not worth the bother. It really isn't. Extra production slots up there. What's this one? Production stations for everything. Oh, we can do one of these. These are big ones. So we can choose our production stations. Doesn't give any benefit though. Oh, this does. Oh, this is a big one though. This, this increases production speed in the engineering depot and the pharmacy by 25%. Okay. That's an improvement going in. And in the staff lodging, this doesn't really matter, so we just assign. Then we go back to assignments. This is the casualty clearing station level two. Let's put him in there. And um, that has now got seven hours left on it. Can I put you in? Six hours. Let's do that. Nobody needs a rest, I'm sure. Apart from someone in the clearing station, so the medics need moving. Ooh, definitely. We definitely need to shift these around. And I'm going to put one in there. And take them out. I think we're possibly on top of things now. I'm going to put you on a 12-hour shift system. You can go over there. No preferences, no preferences. No preferences. Prefer to work shift one on the 12 hour system. Who was the, the shift one? You go over there. And they're happy. That's <laughs> got it. Right. So with only three people waiting for the medic team there, that can work. There's a huge amount of here, which we're currently working to upgrade that. So, um,. Uh, I feel like I need to do the other thing, but this 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 needs doing. I need all the improvements building. So with that, I think we're in a situation where, at that point, we are going to take a break and try and remember what we're up to and the panic that we're going through uh, when we come back tomorrow. Once again, at um, two thirty UK time. So. Folks, hope you've enjoyed it today. Oh, hi, Richie. I am liking this game. It gets mixed reviews. It needs a bit of polish. There's a few things that don't work as they should. And there's a lot of things that aren't very well explained. But overall, it's fun and it's stressful. And I am enjoying it. And let me just check before I go, because otherwise I will forget. The depot is in use. And there's the truck is driving over here now. Maybe that truck's got nothing to do with this depot. Fetch truck. Truck returning with 10. That seems to be working now, but we don't really get much of an indication that it's it's ever returning. Or how it works. So it's, it's utterly bizarre. But yeah, I am enjoying the game. It's good. Right, folks. I will definitely be back tomorrow. Uh, do click the... If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. Click like. It does help. It really helps the get the stream noticed. And if you're on Twitch, then click follow and we'll be back again tomorrow and we'll have some more fun. And hopefully we'll see the end five days. I think we might see the end of chapter two tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Right. Thanks again, folks. And I'll catch you on the next one.